Hello everyone, Karnasa here, and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program 2 live stream. We're going to be doing exactly what I did last time round, except this time there's no giveaway at the beginning, unfortunately. But hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. Welcome everyone that's in the chat already. Hello Space Chalk, Jimmy Micucci, Code Bulletin, launch straight towards Jewel. No gravity manoeuvring or anything, point your rocket at Jewel only, do not pass go, do not collect £200. Um, <laughs> yes! We, we, that, that, that's gonna be, um, you'll have to launch at the right time of day in order to do that. I guess that that is something that may happen. It definitely may happen. But before we get into any new suggestions, if you weren't here for the live stream last weekend, well, let's, uh, let, let's show you what, what's actually going on here. I think, is it this one? No, no. Where is it? It should be. I have lost it. I should have. No, why, why, why you no show? There should be a display capture and it's, it's not working. I am confused. Hello, Snad, new layout. Yes, there is a new stream layout. I've, I spent a bit of time last night getting some overlays to make it look a little bit more professional and a little bit better. So I've, I've got several, like if I come into, if I come into here, look, it's all, it's all different and there's, there's more screen, but there's less chat. Th th this overlay is called new stream. This overlay is called new stream more chat and it, it looks a little bit better, but you'll have to let me know what you think of the new overlays. Anyway, everyone join the Discord. There should be a link to the Discord in the description of the stream. If you want to go check it out, head over there, and then I can, like, abuse powers and spam everyone whenever I go live and do stuff like that. <laughs> I am a bit sick today as well. Um, I, caught, I caught sick over Christmas, which has been a bit unfortunate. Where is my overlay? I, I spent so long sorting this out last night. Come on, where, where are you? Where where are you? Is it is it this one? Yes, there we go. So I can I can just pull it up, and we've got the wheel. We've got the spinny wheel of spinniness. So if you weren't here last weekend, basically before I fly any mission, what I do is I spin this wheel. There's a load of challenges on there already. There's 28 currently, but over the course of this live stream, if you feel like you want to add some more, write down some in the chat. I'll be checking over to the chat and seeing kind of like if there are any suggestions that I really like. There is also one challenge on here, which is called something, something, something community vote. Yeah, there we go. We've got community vote there. So if I land on that, then what I'll do is I'll come to the chat and be like, chat, make your voices be heard now. And we will see what you have to add. Gimbal's disabled. I did like the sound of that one. I, I really like the sound of that one because that means I'm going to have to rely on nothing but wings, RCS and rea um, reaction wheels, which... It's going to be difficult considering I had to rely not on reaction wheels last time round. That that was a that was a fun mission. That was a really fun mission. It was not. It, it made me it made me hate myself. <laughs> it was really not that fun at all. I'm going to move my mic away because it does seem like I'm clipping a little bit. And we don't have IVA yet. IVA is only fun. Is there is there a single stage challenge? Um, no, I don't actually have one of those yet. 200% gravity. Can you turn gravity up in KSB2? I don't think you can. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm fairly sure you can't. I know that's part of the cheat menu in KSB1, but I, I don't know. Uh, only small parts. Hello, NASCAR. Hello, Ganymede. Welcome. I don't even know. Hey guys, just got here. Is it time to get silly again? It is indeed. We, we, we're going to be, it's, it's going to be a little bit crazy over the course of this stream. I don't know why I do this to myself. I really don't know why I do this to myself. Anyway, one addition that was popularly recommended on the poll that I did the other day, I think there was something like almost 2,000 votes on that poll and 90%, I want to say 90% voted yes, add mods. So we got some mods. We got some mods because mods are great and I saw Shadow Dev in the chat. Shadow Dev is a mod maker for KSP2 and has made some absolutely wonderful uh, wonderful mods. I'm fairly sure I've got a couple of yours on here. Um, I don't know yet. Yeah, well, there we go. I've got the sh Shadow Utility Library, so that definitely means I've got some of your mods on here. Well, one you can add minimum rocket size, use orbital fuel stations. That would be quite fun. And one thing I do want to do is definitely build space stations in this save because I didn't really do that the first time around that I played um, <clears throat> exploration mode. I'm, I might have to stop every now and then and go get myself a drink or something because 
like I said, sick. And I don't know why I'm streaming twice this weekend. But I'm streaming this weekend because I've not spent any time working on any videos over the past week because it was Christmas, it was my birthday, it was my birthday on Wednesday. I'm now old, so laugh at old person. And um, I, yeah, I just wanted to have a bit of a break, but I thought, well, if I'm not releasing any videos, we're going to have a couple of streams over the course of this weekend, which should be quite fun. Hi, Kanasa, love the kit. Wait, is, is there, is there, is, is my cat in here? He, he might, or they might be. Brick engine equals best mod. <laughs> I've not, I've not seen the brick engine mod. <laughs> what, what is that? Land on the moon before your tenth rocket launch. I've already, I've already landed on the moon. That's actually where we are going to come straight in. Um, I left the last live stream on the surface of the moon or, or Mun, as Matt came in and told me I was pronouncing it wrong last live stream. And then I went and spoke to Beardy, and me and Beardy had. A bit of a chat, I was like, no, it has an umlaut. It did have an umlaut. We, we, we are right, it is moon because it has an umlaut. And that, that, that's, <laughs> that, that's what we were just, yeah. That, that, that was what my Christmas day was spent doing. <laughs> but I hope everyone had a good uh, holiday. It's obviously New Year's as well. Hope uh, everyone's looking forward to going into 2024. Got some exciting things coming up in 2024. Artemis 2. That's going to be at the end of the year. I'm very much looking forward to that. Sending humans to fly by the moon for the first time in what? Was it 1975? I want to say was the last uh, crewed lunar space flight. So that'll be, that'll be pretty fun. That'll be interesting to watch. I'm going to change now to this. And that kills my sound because KSP2 doesn't like borderless mode for some reason. Can I ask, remember the voice chat idea you had after last stream? Um, I do. I'm probably not going to do that today because I'm I'm sick and I'm tired, so I'm probably not going to be as fun on that. But yeah, that is definitely something I would like to do. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for you though. Ooh, what was that? Oh, there's a subscriber. And because I've changed my overlay, it's basically a, a bog standard overlay that I've stolen from Streamlabs. It, it now comes really slowly. <laughs> That's probably not the best overlay to do. But you know, it looks somewhat sci-fi. I also really wanted one with my colours, and unfortunately I don't have that. 1972. Wow, I was a bit far out. Uh, you should do a grand tour. Was it 75? That's the last Skylab, maybe? Was the last time a Saturn V flew? Was it 70? I can't remember. Can't remember off the top of my head. You should do a grand tour, 100% reusable. That would be um, pretty much nigh on impossible in KSP2 at its current state, I think, but maybe, 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 maybe. Anyway, we're at the space center like this this is this is space center you can see and um i do have submissions because this isn't the first time that i'm doing this and i was actually considering right this was something that i was thinking of doing is maybe starting again but there are some new mods i'm, I'm not sure if i want to do this because i did get quite a bit of progress last time around there are some new mods where's my crew capsule i don't know if cheese is here but it's basically probes before crew in ksp2 and it, it looks really cool and it's something that i definitely want to try out but i don't know what, what what's what's people's kind of uh thoughts on that can i create a poll from here um i don't think i do happy new year's eve eve <laughs> happy new year's eve eve everyone pros before crew ksp2 yep yeah it's called where's my crew capsule and it's um i've not tried it out yet but it's definitely uh it's definitely a mod that does work uh, can i create a poll um, yeah, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it, uh, can, why, why can't, st start a poll, here we go, I'm, I'm terrible, I'm pro streamer here, create a poll, ask a question, should we do, where's my crew capsule, um, and then it's just yes or no, and there we go, start poll, let's see what everyone says, <laughs> hopefully, there's, there's an overwhelming consensus, I got quite a bit of yes. Just bear in mind, this will mean that I will have to go and install that mod and start up the game again. So it'll be a little bit of time before I can actually get in if we do do that. <laughs> do do. Um, but yeah, it might be quite fun. SSTO to Eve. Kanasa, new say for sure, but turn up the science gain to make it quicker, lol. And remember to set the agency colours. No, I don't want to turn up the science gain. The whole point of this is to make it a bit harder. Like the the stock science gain is uh, just just terror. It's like it's too quick, too quick, way too quick. Uh, there was something else that I wanted to do as well. Whilst I am um, whilst I am here, 
waiting for the poll. It looks like a lot of people are saying yes, so I'll give it a little bit more time, but I'm also going to record this, and I cannot... Oh, God, I can't change my recording path. Oh, wait, no, I can. It's, it's already in KSP2 live streams. Okay, so I'm going to record this as well. This might kill my PC, but... There was, there was another poll. I've been full of polls recently. L literally, polls here, left, right, coming at you like monsoon moon. Um, yeah, there's um, there was another poll saying, like, do people want, like, highlights and clips and cut-ups of these streams? And that was also overwhelmingly positive. So I'm going to record this as well. So um, we get we get, we get get that too. So it does look like the vast majority are saying yes. 51 votes and 75% have said yes. So, I I think that might mean that I need to go to CCAN and install a new mod! <laughs> Wonderful! Um, it's only best next to the Brick Engine one. I, I need to see the Brick Engine. You can almost complete the Tier 2 tech without leaving Kerbin's Sphere of Influence. Probably. Um, is, is that with normal science rewards, though? Where's My Crew Capsule is the best mod at the moment. Um... I know it adds quite a few things. It basically Cheese, who is the mod developer, I've I've been seeing them talking about it, and she said that like she's basically creating RP one in KSP two. It's it's quite quite fun. Some of the stuff that we've seen. What about newspaper style image of every major mission with short newspaper style panel in it? Um, see, the reason why I wanted to do clips is so I've got something easy to do uh, that I can upload. That that would require a lot more effort on my part. I'm already spending about 60, 70 hours a week working on content. So, <laughs> yes, uh, I, I'm doing this full time at the moment. Use glitches to leave Kerbin. Hey, what? I named a rocket after you in Kerbal... Not Kerbal Gets Real Redux. I named a rocket after you in Farewell KSP. It was the what? <laughs> and it was one of my best, best missions, right? I'm, 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 yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. Go away, Kerry. Yeah, we landed on the moon. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's quit out the game, I guess. So we're going to quit and we're going to start again. Unfortunately, I didn't really want to do this, but... Where's my crew capsule is calling, and it is definitely going to be something that I do want to uh, pay close attention to. So now, let's see if, whilst I do this, can I get this one up? Yes, I can get this one up and, and nothing is there. Um, wh why is nothing there? If I do that, there we go, we've got, we've got the wheel. We're going to need to spin this again for where's my crew capsule. I don't know how that's going to go, but we will see. And whilst I wait for this... I'm going to, yeah, you're probably going to get my Steam page up now because I want to browse to my local files. <laughs> I had this all set up nicely. Everything was fine because I want to open up CCAN uh, because uh, 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 CCAN is now in KSP2 and it's wonderful. Oh God, everything's going wrong here. Ask Ouija for a mission to do. Ouija board, what mission should we do? Use only spin to stabilize your rocket. He only has two games. I have more than two games. The, 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 those are my two games that are up because I have literally searched for Kerbal. You can see I've, I've searched for Kerbal. If I, if I get rid of that, I have quite, quite, quite a lot. <laughs> I, I, am, I am gamer. I, I am pro gamer. I've been playing a lot of Software Inc. recently. It's a very fun game. And uh, Dyson Sphere Program. That's a great game as well. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3. I've been playing that with one of my mates. Uh, it's great. Great. Right. Anyway, so we're going to come to where's my crew capsule. I'm just going to tick that. Uh, I'm assuming I need the WMCC modules as well, but because it's because it's CCAN, if I hit apply, it's going to download it for me because CCAN is just absolutely wonderful. And I'm so glad that it is now working for KSP2. Can I say, how do you do like an ISV or something? I want to ISV like an interstellar vehicle. Um, can't really do it in KSP2 at the moment because we've not really got the parts or the tech or the or the stuff or the places to go um but when it comes to like ksp1 i don't know just make something really big make something so big that you'd be able to fit my face in it yeah i lost my trail of thought there uh, yeah something 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 big something something fast speed of light not possible you know all, all those standard things where is my mouse there. <laughs> right, let's open up KSP2 again. <laughs> for, for the second time this live stream. We've not even started playing the game yet. 
Damn, I don't think the brick, brick engine is once again. No, get to Juno by your 10th launch. Um... I mean, we can definitely try. I'm going to be playing through, like, the progression. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a whole progression thing that we've got going on that we want. Quick, update the brick engine so I can't ask can use it. But I've opened the game again now, maybe maybe for next time. There is one engine, right? I'm not sure what mod adds it. I need to go through the mods that I've downloaded because I'm going to be doing a, another mod video, maybe coming out next Friday. Depends on what I get done next week because next weekend I'm not going to be streaming. Because uh, I'm actually going away on holiday, uh, which means I need to get my Cobble Gets Real Redux episode finished next week. And also, I do want to get a KSP2 video out as well, but we'll see. It's either going to be, like, um, a mods video, and there's, there's, a couple of, there's a couple of ideas that I'm playing in my head for next time around, uh, for next Friday. I don't know which one it'll be, though. Right, so, exploration mode. Difficulty, rocket scientist. Heat enabled, heat scaling, 200%, because yes. Uh, I'm going to allow quick loading, because, you know, bugs. Uh, tolerance for docking, that's fine. Starting sign point zero, science rewards, 50-50. And I think that's everything that I want. Campaign name is going to be... Uh, live, live stream, live stream challenges challenges too because I started this last week and the agency name I'll um I'll let you decide I'm gonna end that poll now though because you know we have we have done it it is finished the poll do be done end poll uh by the way this stream overlay has a bit of the upper right cropped out does it does it are you sure I can move it. In in the in the game, like like when I when I come in the game. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. What's your all-time favorite KSP1 mod? RP1. <laughs> How about a minimum surface base? If you're up for a challenge, try a Val surface base. That's definitely something that we could do. KSC, Super Car NASA program. Because what, what Kerbal Super Carnassa program? It makes me think of like Super Mario. That's better now, but it works fine. Uh, what what happened after you do the last episode for all Kerbal Kind KSP One series? Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing after for all Kerbal Kind. Something new. That's not going to be for a long time yet, though. Uh, because we've still got a lot to do in that save. Like, I only joined in, what, four episodes ago? My next episode's coming out on the 28th of January. I think the first one coming out is Beardies, which is coming out on the 14th, so two weeks' time, basically. Uh, yeah, it'll be two weeks tomorrow will be the next Frog Kerbal Kind episode. Name it Kerbal Death Program. I mean, I've, I've waited around here enough already. I think Kerbal Death Program is it's like... It's, it's what's going to happen. Last time round, I killed Jeb on the first launch, although... We don't have, um, I'm going to go orange, we don't have crew to begin with, or so I'm hoping. I'm going to go for orange and white. Now I'm going to set my agency colours, and I'm going to set my flag to something that reflects, there we go, orange and white. Slightly different orange and white, but you know, uh, the, the, these are my channel colours. I might be, how, that, that's quite bright, I'm fine with that. Let's start the campaign, and let's see what happens with where's my crew capsule. And before we launch a single mission on this, well, we've got to go back to the Wheel of Misfortune and we've got to spin it and hopefully it doesn't kill me. Hello, Kanasa. Hello, chat. Hello, Safati. Safati? Safati? Probably completely butchered that. And I'm really sorry, but welcome, welcome. No Jeb program. Orange and pink. I'm going to have to try and colour my rockets in a bit more this stream as well. Because I, I, I tend to not colour them in too much. As party. Hey, Carnassa! Yes, Nad? Wouldn't it be funny if I were to roll two again? <laughs> it absolutely would, wouldn't it? I don't know why I do this to myself. Why do I do this to myself? Why? Do, why? 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 <laughs> anyway. Um, I want to go into the R&D centre and see. Look! The tech tree has changed! Let's, um... Let's have a look. So, we've got, we start off with some probe cores and a pay- Oh, jeez. You are great. I asked Cheese to add payload fairings at the beginning and Cheese has gone and done it. Thank you so much for this. <laughs> that this is definitely something that I, I did want. But there we go. The, these are what we start with rather than crew capsules. We actually start with probes. That's amazing. 
That's really, really good. 100% reuse again would be funny. How do you use KSP2 with CCAN? Um, you just download CCAN, like download the latest version of CCAN and it will be there. Uh, I tend just to put it in my KSP2 folder and it automatically finds it, although you can um, set, you can search for a game instance on CCAN and if you select ksp2.exe, it will apply to that version of KSP2 when you download mods. I know with, I think it was um, with uh, KSP1, you needed to search for a file called build64.dll, I think it was, but no, with KSP2, you want to select the actual .exe um, executable that will launch the game in order to point CCAN at that installation of KSP2. Hi, hello data you 3 You're telling me we can't kill Jeb on the first launch anymore? No, we cannot! Jeb will be safe for some time, hopefully. But anyway, yeah, Tech Tree is looking cool. It's, it's definitely had a lot of upgrades. There's, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of changes been made, so that'll be fun to explore through this over the course of this live stream series. At least I hope it will be. Right, anyway, let's uh, come out of uh, research and development. We're going to go to Mission Control and pick up the first missions. Sounding Rocket! Oh my god, look, there's even custom contracts! We're doing sound- it's the Sounding Rocket grind in Kerbal Space Program 2! I mean, I'm playing RP1 tomorrow, I'm going to be doing um, my lunar design. But well, apparently we're playing RP1 in KSP2 now as well. This is brilliant. 12 and a half science. That's not a lot of science. Um, 10 kilometers. Yep, we can do that. Yep, I absolutely think we can do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the VAB and design something. But first. But first, there is something important that needs to be done. And that is. We spin the wheel of death. Plot twist, TD Channel steals the moon before Karnasa can land a couple there. <laughs> what is RP1? RP1 is realistic progression one, so I'm doing a stream on it tomorrow. It's basically a very big, heavy mod pack from Kerbal Space Program 1, which adds like all historical engines, historical contracts, adds the real solar system, makes everything ten times bigger than the stock system, because like our solar system is bigger, a lot bigger than the Kerbal system. It's like playing KSP on steroids, basically. Uh, that's probably the best way to describe it. It's, it's, it's fun. It's really fun. KGRR. Did I just say Kerbal Gets Real? I meant Kerbal Gets Real Redux. <gasps> Kerbal Gets Real is my really old series. Anyway, what do people reckon this is going to land on? I'm, I'm hoping for a good one. Last time I launched, like I spun this at the beginning, it was Launch West, which was a really easy first contract thing but let me know Pr put your predictions in now and i'm gonna spin the spinny wheel of spinniness and we'll see what it is the moon if you get a result that doesn't apply to you re-roll that might be oh look at that look at that no limits that means i don't need to do anything i can i can build whatever i want just no limits no challenge why couldn't I have got this last time? And this is the first launch. This is the first launch. This is going to be the easiest launch. And I get it now. That's not going to come up again. That's not going to come up again. Absolutely not. <laughs> I needed one that was just nothing on there. But yeah, um, whilst I'm here as well, I'm going to add a few of the ones that were suggested. So we had no gimbal. Uh, allowed, so I'll add that. No gimbal allowed. Um, yeah, but, but just no allowed. <laughs> no gimbal, come on. I can type, no gumbal. Uh, so if you had any suggestions, let them be known now. Rigged! 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 I rigged the thing. I rigged the whole thing. I mean, if you were here for the last stream, you would know that it wasn't rigged because I did something quite difficult. 100% reuse, no reaction wheels, one engine type. Oh, no, don't get sorry. Polar orbits only. I've got one that is already polar. It is one of the yellow ones, I think. No? There's definitely a polar orbit one, though. It's right next to Launch West. It's like Launch Polar. I can't see it at the moment, but it's on there. Uh, polar Launch, there we go. It's red. Right there. Right there. Can, is my mouse even being shown? It's on the left, upside down at the moment. Um, the rocket has to launch flat on its side. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. Only use solid rocket fuel. I've got that already. Life support is a new challenge. Uh, 
I thought I recognised that name. When I said it earlier on and I butchered the name, I was like, I'm sure I recognise that. And that's why, because you made the life support mod. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> as soon as you said life support for challenge, I was like, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to open up Seacan again and I need to see, I need to check this. Um, I've not actually played with that mod yet. There was one thing, there's one mod that I want before I add life support into KSP2, and that's an alarm clock. As soon as I got an alarm clock, I'm adding life support. But until I've got that, yeah, oh, I'm going to wait. Oh, I just tuned in and saw the glasses. Nice. Launch pointy end down, flamey end up. I've already got that. I've got launch upside down. Life support is needed. Drive rover 25 kilometers. That's 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 going to be a pain. Um, like the rocket has to be laying down. You can use stuff to turn it upright maybe, but instead the rocket starts on its side, like turn 90 degrees. I suppose I've got something like launch sideways. I, I, I if, if that's not on there, do I have launch sideways? No, I don't. I'll, I'll, I'll add that. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll add that one. Launch sideways. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back into the game in a second. I'm just gonna have a quick look at some more. Um, launch straight towards jewel. No gravity maneuvering or anything. Point your rocket at jewel only. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible without some sort of flight planner to tell me exactly when the right time is to launch. If I knew the time to launch, then yeah, I could do that. But that, that's that's going to be like beyond the realms of possibility. Did you add no gimbals? I did. Launch with no heat shield. I think that's on there already. I'm fairly sure we do have no heat shields. Uh, yeah, no heat shields is, is right there. Um, Rhino engine only. I, I won't be able to do that until I unlock it, which is quite far in. I've got a challenge where it's one engine type only. So kind of might fall into that. Fly blind. You have to get into orbit with your eyes closed. Well, I am wearing glasses, so... I am blinding myself at the moment, but like I'll, I'll be here like this. It's a shame that no one's on chat. That, like, Snad, if that were the case, if I were to roll that, I think that would be time for you to, to come on to uh, chat and tell me how my, my orbit's going. But anyway, I think that's enough for now. Uh, so what we're going to do is come back into the game and build our first sanding rocket. And I've got no limits here, <laughs> which is wonderful. So I'm just going to do something really quick and dirty. Do we have decouplers yet? I don't think we do. Don't even have decouplers unlocked. <gasps> oh, no. Oh no, but we can. Oh, hello. No, no. yeah, yeah. We we can make. I'm gonna be all sniffly because you know, cold. What we can do is we can put payload fairing on top of this. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's it's so nice. Look look at that. It's it's the most beautiful rocket I've ever built. This is amazing. There we go. We get a nice little uh, nice little peek. I don't think these actually do anything. Right now in KSP2, uh, payload fairings do nothing. They, they, they don't work aerodynamically. They don't stop things from overheating. It is a known bug, and apparently they are working. I think I think that's like prior, one of the priorities for the first full science patch. What's up? Hello, pesky bird. Welcome. Welcome. Only Separatrons. That, that would be quite difficult. Separatrons only to orbit. <laughs> that would be that would be somewhat challenging. I, I will give you that. Uh, right, so we've got one type of battery. I'm gonna whack that on, like, like whack a couple of on, because everyone loves symmetry. Um, why is my mirror not going up? There we go. We'll put that on there like that, offset them in ever so slightly. And then I guess what we do is we just make some of these and see how far up we can get this. So what is our thrust to weight ratio on this? Um, 2100, ooh, it's pretty weak. It's pretty weak. We're gonna have to add some spiders. Gonna have to add some spiders on this to even get it off the pad. Um, so that is now 2.83. I think what I might do rather than this is add maybe like four of these and then do what I did for my Gillion spiders only video which was put spiders in like that that is now 1.69 um in the atmosphere it's 1.51 so yeah this will get off the pad wonderful uh do i have i don't even have aerodynamic surfaces oh god how am i going to control this <laughs> oh no this could go very badly i only need to get to 10,000 meters right 10,000 meters up we'll, we'll, we'll see what's the challenge there is no challenge in this one i rolled luckily i was very fortunate have I played Flyout yet? I've played it very briefly. Oh my god, it's famous YouTuber, Space Peacock. <laughs> I saw Space Peacock talk about that on, um... 
I think it might have been the KSP2 Discord. Spin. 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 I suppose we can spin. Spin stabilization. Yes. Yeah, we got to spin stabilize everything. It's a sounding rocket. Of course we do. So what's the best way to spin stabilize this? I reckon if I go like that. Yeah, and it will spin. It do spin. It do be like that. And this is going to be... Vehicle is just going to be... What, what, what's this vehicle called? It's just, it's just a sounding rocket. It's a simple, lowly sounding rocket. Um, establishing connection. Subscriber received. In, in, in mapper. I, w I really wish that would come up a little bit quicker. But thank you for subscribing to the channel. So, this vehicle. Name it PP. Dildo. I probably shouldn't say these things on my live stream. This is going to go so badly. Call it up. <laughs> we're we're going to send up. Oh, poor Carl. Is it Carl? I've, I've not watched that film in a while. Slip. Slowly, simple, lowly sounding rocket. I like that. I like that. I, yeah. We've got a nice little acronym. There we go. We'll even get dots in because everyone loves a dot. Right. So, vehicle. Slip. Save. Uh, new workspace. Sounding rockets. There we go. We'll get all of our sounding rockets in here. And the vehicle name is Slip. And we're going to launch this and see just how badly this goes. Sky high, spinny ding ding. Oh dear. Right. So, we have... Science to gain. I... Can't revert. How am I going to get my science back? Does this have a built-in antenna? It does. It does. It does. Telemetry report is running. Six seconds. Okay, so it does have a built-in antenna. That's fine. Um, cancel telemetry report. No, I want, I want the telemetry report. There we go. We've got 1.5 science. I'm not going to... Oh, I can transmit. Lovely. So, one and a half science gained from the launch pad. But anyway, we are going to get this launched. So, telemetry report is something new that's been added with, um, where's my crew capsule? So, we're basically getting new science experiments as part of mods as well. Really, really, really fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing where the modding scene, like, takes this game. It's going to be brilliant. Kanasa, is KSP2 fixed in terms of bugs now? There are still quite a few bugs. It's still early access. Still kind of like beta or probably more alpha because beta means it's feature complete, doesn't it? I think I think that's the distinction between the two. Um, there are still some bugs, but it is definitely in a position where it is playable, at least in my opinion, and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Right, anyway, we are going to just point straight up. We're going we're gonna to hit space and we're going to start the countdown. The antenna is built into the probe. Yes, woof. 1.5 science. It's great. We're going to grab the new science as soon as we launch. Look at it go. Why isn't it spinning? It is kind of spinning. Let's just point up. Oh, it's it, it do spin. It do spin. I, I don't want you to correct the spin. I just want you to go up. We have spin stabilized a sounding rocket. Isn't this amazing? I don't think KSP2 will ever be better than the original. Turn off SAS. Uh, yeah, that's probably actually a good idea. I don't know. I think once colonies and interstellar and all of that's been added, like, oh, there we go. Nice. Um, yeah, let's transmit all. Yeah, once all of that's been added, I think there is a very good chance that KSP2 will be better than the original. I'm, I'm, oh, bloody hell. I'm, I'm quite optimistic now. I, I really like slated the game when it came out at launch. It, yeah, it, it wasn't great, but now <laughs> I'm actually having quite a lot of fun with it. Deploy the fairing. It's weighing you down. Do fairings actually weigh stuff? Oh, there we go. We, we hit 10 kilometers. We're probably going to go to space as well, I imagine. If KSP2 becomes what it promises it will be 1,000 times better, especially multiplayer would be very exciting. I think multiplayer would be pretty fun. I don't really have, like... Any of, like, my old friends don't play KSP. I, 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 when I got into KSP, I got into it with one friend who I don't really speak to anymore. Like, I, I occasionally speak to He kind of fell off the face of the earth. Um, but then it could also open up the possibility to doing stuff like... I didn't stage there. My hands were here. I don't know why the payload fairing just went off. Um, but no, it would also open up the possibility of doing stuff like collaborative stuff with, say, like N9, Beardy. I don't know. Maybe Matt will have me on again. Like collaborative multiplayer. That, that, that would be quite fun for, like, channel-wise. So we'll have to see. Not with that fuel, you're not. 
Yeah, how high did I get? 62 kilometers. That was pretty, pretty high. Can I just go back to the space center? It's in a dangerous state. Actually, no. We, we Should we watch it to its demise? I, I feel like everyone wants an explosion, right? We want to see explosions. I need to stop talking so quickly. My voice can't handle it at the moment. I'm sick. <coughs> <coughs> Multiplayer will instantly turn the most sophisticated and long-standing campaign into pure chaos. I've never played multiplayer in KSP1. I know there's like lunar multiplayer and dark multiplayer, but I've never actually tried either of those. So when multiplayer comes to KSP2, I, I might be in for a bit of a surprise, see what happens. Right. This thing's gonna die! Where's Jeb? Jeb, Jeb is alive again. Because this is a new campaign, Jeb is actually alive. Which would be quite nice. What happens for all Kerbal Kind? Um, Kerry Gaming. Uh, are you Kerry as in like Kerry from from Kerbal Space Program 2? Uh, for all Kerbal Kind is returning in two weeks time. I spoke about it a little bit at the beginning of the stream. Beardy's episode is coming out on the 14th of January. Then N9's is coming out on the 21st of January. And then my next episode will be coming out on the 28th of January. And uh, another, hopefully, next weekend, there'll be another Kerbal Gets Real Redux episode arriving. And there will also be, hopefully, a KSP2 video. But no live stream next weekend, because, as mentioned, I am away on holiday. Going away, and it's going to be very nice. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Thank you for the subscription. I can't read that. I can't read that. I'm very sorry. Oh, oh, we paused. Oh, well, it was at this point the rocket knew... The, the, why, why have I gone away? <laughs> it was at this point the rocket knew that it messed up and we are going to crash into the surface. Right, anyway, let's, 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 let's finish this mission. Come on. Play. 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 Boom! That was a very large explosion for such a small probe. What? Londa, how much will survive? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It died. It, it, it got so broken up, not even the ants that were underneath the rocket when it unfortunately crashed down on their anthill survived. It poured liquid propane all over them and, and they burnt. It was, it was a true tragedy. Thank you, Delta V, for the $10 donation. Love the content. Just got on. Have you started running mods? Also, do you feel like the campaign missions were a bit too short and easy? I wish there were multiple missions per Celestial Body. Um... Yeah, it kind of does suck that after Tylo, you're done. I would like there to be more, and I imagine with the, like, coming of future updates, there definitely will be more coming. Like, when Colonies gets added, I'm sure they'll revamp it, and once Interstellar comes, like, I'm not going to say anything about, like, the story, because people might not have done it yet, but there's definitely, it's alluding to going out Interstellar in that campaign, so I'm sure, I'm, like, assuming that, yeah, more will be developed. Um... And yes, I have started running mods. I'm doing probes before crew. That is why the first launch of this this live stream was... Why did I go into the tracking station? I wanted to go into mission control. First launch of this live stream was a sounding rocket. We've got new contracts, which is great. So, submit. What's the next one? Welcome back. Thrilling work. Oh, that, this is just the same as... Uh, yeah, yeah. This is just the same as the normal for science. Right, so sounding rocket, 70 kilometers. Launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude greater than... So they're the same contracts, it's just... parameters are a bit, are a bit different. Oh, there we go, that was the super chat coming in. I was like, I, I talked about that already. It's Tylo after Moho. Um, that you, you're not even given the um, option in the primary, in, in these primary, like, mission control missions, uh, Moho doesn't even come up. It's... Uh, get into orbit, then it's the moon, then it's Minmus, then it's Juna, then it's Tylo, uh, with a few like orbit jewel and orbit like Minmus, I think, were two missions in between there. I think there's like nine, so there's not actually a huge amount. Right, but they are fun, and it's nice reading like the law. Kerbal Space Program 2 has law now? What? Right, anyway, we've got 15 science, which means we can. <laughs> Wow. Oof. Oof. Oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. 
Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty horrible. It's pretty, pretty damn horrible. I think maybe 50% science might have been a, might have been a bad idea. Right, anyway, we're going to go to the vehicle assembly building. And before we do that, It's time to spin. Oh, for some reason, the I don't know why my overlays, they bring back up things that have already happened. It's really weird. What's a dress? Indeed. Chat, when will MatPat do a lore video on KSP2? <laughs> Three months. 50% is good. Kalasa told you so. 75% would have been better, to be honest. Spin! Okay, right. What are we going to get? I'm probably not going to get something as nice as I did last time. I don't think, I, I think that this is, this is probably going to bite me, like actually bite me, like my PC screen is going to come out, it's going to grow fangs and attack me. That's what's going to happen this time, but we're going to spin. Dress, that's not how you write three in Spanish. Add boat launch, I've got boat launch on there. Ooh, that's not the worst, could have gone worse than that. Wider than tall. I think this will be fine. I reckon this will be fine. We don't have to worry about this at all. Yeah, I do have boat launch on there somewhere. Uh, yeah, right there. Boat launch. Anyway, so we got to design a wide rocket. So this is going to be very wide. Right, so we do have a decoupler now. We've got, a, we've got an extra small stack decoupler. Uh, not that I'm really going to want to use that, I guess. So we'll go for that there, and then... <laughs> so you're going to have to be the judge of this. Chat, you'll have to, uh, you'll have to kind of like point out whether you think this is wider than it is tall. So we're going to do a payload fairing, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to get this like this, and we're going to get maybe like them in like that. Then, actually no, I'm just going to go for two. I'm gonna go like, yeah, like like this, and then we'll get two in. And that gives me, not a lot of delta V, but it gives me enough for us to actually, you know, take off. Atmosphere, what's my atmosphere? Why, why am I using this? I've got mods now. I have, I have mods. Look, I have mods! Mods! Micro engineer, it's so good! It tells me my thrust away. It's, it's basically couple engineer, re, uh, couple engineer redux. I wonder where I got the name Redux from. Uh, from KSP1, it's great. Uh, lol, you left it on the wrong display. Oh, yeah, I did. Ah, oops. There we go. Better. Screen cropped. There we go. Wrong overlay. The screen! Idea I had. Opposite optimized engine in the respective... Blah, blah, blah. It's gone straight over my head. Yeah. Better. <laughs> I thought I clicked it. This is why I don't... I'm not pro streamer bad. Right, so we're going to get... These radial decouplers are huge. So I guess if I get, say, like, three. Three of those on there. That gives me... For us to wait... Uh, can I get away with two? Yes. But only just. Only just. Right, so this needs to be wider than it is tall. So by my reckoning, it's about that, that tall at the moment. So what we need to do is make it very wide, very, very wide. And in order to do that, is that, is that attached? I can't tell if that's attached to the node on top or if it's attached to the decoupler. I think that's attached to the node on top. So we're going to go for something like this, right? And that gives me three, th wow, that gives me a lot of Delta V. And then we're going to get four of these on here. Like that. Uh, I don't think I have any aerodynamics at the moment. What mods do you have installed? I have Micro Engineer, uh, Orbital Survey, which is a super fun mod, Kerbinaut Manager. And the reason why I got this is so that if anyone wants a Kerbal named after them in this live stream series, I'll probably do it to people who super chat or patrons or whatever. Um, then uh, I've got that so I can rename Kerbals to something that, you know, like I can, I can rename them. Why is my brain not working today? I can rename them to what people have said in the chat. Hover over top node to check number. 
Hover, hover over top node to check number Shadow Kerman. Oh, there we go. We'll get we'll get um, we'll get Shadow Kerman in because you are a member. So there we go. Hopefully that added. There you go. Look at that. You got you got a. A luxurious head of flowing hair. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, anyway, so we want width more than, yeah. So I think in order to make this even wider, what I'm going to do is just this. And that is now wider than it is tall. And this thing looks ridiculous. Right, so I need to make sure that this staging is correct. Let's get those in there, those in there, those in there. Oh god, 16 engines on that stage. Then we split these off, get those all in there, right? And then we split that off, and then we fire up those two, and then we we good, jobs are good. Right, 1.02 thrust to weight ratio. Um, that's not ideal, so I think what I wanna do is somehow split these. So I think if we get the ones that are the closest to the inside, yeah, we move these to this stage and then these fire up as well. Makes that stage a little less burn time, but it also means that this now has a thrust to weight ratio of 1.27, which is fabulous. Call it Rocket with the space for wide emphasis. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, rock. Keat. Okay, let's save this. And I don't like the new workspaces. Like, I, I don't understand them. Bruh. Bruh. Rockets are like onions. They have layers. Also cakes. But everyone knows that the, the true, true layers belong to onions. I've not seen that film in a very long time. Anyway, let's launch this. Can we test how fast a Kerbal can go up using Shadow? <laughs> We, we can certainly give that a go, Shadow Death. What have you signed yourself up to? Anyway, so let's give this a launch. No, no faffing around this time. We need to go to space and we need to do it now. This should make it to space. We had something like 3,600 meters per second of delta V, which technically should mean it makes it to orbit. I could try, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Did anyone ever see something quite so majestic? I, I, I think you would be hard pressed to find a better flying rocket in Kerbal Space Program 2. I, I have achieved perfection. Look at it fly. It is glorious. It is, it is such a feat of engineering. No one can claim to have made anything better than this. And if they do, then they are wrong. They are completely wrong. It is wobbling. I don't like that. I don't like that. Is that a Pegasus? You forgot batteries. Oops. I did. I did, and that means that this is probably going to run out of electric charge before I can transmit any science. Absolutely wonderful. But at least I'll get like the 70 kilometer, like above. I'll get above 70 kilometers, hopefully. I might fail the mission, who knows? Right, anyway, we are about to run out of fuel on, on the first wide stage, which means that fires up, and then we fire up these engines and hopefully get a little bit higher. We're only traveling about 200 meters per second at the moment though. I'm, I'm not really that hopeful that we're gonna get very far with this. What else have I got? So these are some of the other mods that I've got. Like someone asked me what mod. Maneuver node controller, flight plan, microengineer, docking, docking port alignment indicator, all those just called docking alignment in KSP2. I've not used that yet, but I'm assuming it's going to do pretty much the same thing. Uh, K2D2, which I think is kind of like Mechjeb Light. I've not used that either. Um, orbital survey. I think I've also got like the tech tree manager mod installed as well. What's this? Let's run a science report. Ignore your previous ping. You were wrong. I forgot to check staging. <laughs> I mean, it would be, it wouldn't be the first time. Definitely not. I, I, I have sinned against the, against Scott, Scott before, you know, forget to check your staging. I've been drilled, it's been drilled into my head by our Lord and Saviour, Scott Moonley. 
he, uh, he, I used to watch his videos a lot. Interstellar Quest, what a, uh, that was a great series. I would quite like to do something similar with to that in KSP2. I think that would be quite fun. Um, but I think I need more mods to come out before that. Kind of satisfying Rocket, thank you. Tiny to Gilly flashbacks. Basically, yeah, yeah. I, I said that when I was building this. It really reminded me when I was um, inputting or kind of like inserting these spider engines in to the sides. Like, yeah, this is what I did when I flew to Gilly. Uh, well, we are definitely going to make it to space. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to... Uh, to orbit though. I can start turning this and seeing if I can. I've got... I might be able to. If I would have done a proper gravity turn then this absolutely would have been able to make it to orbit. Um, which would have been pretty nice. Uh, do I want to collect the science? It's gonna kill my battery. It's like, just point straight this way. Yeah, my battery is now dying. Which is not great. How long is that going to take? Longer than I have electric charge. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I should have put batteries on this. But I forgot. Because I am dumb. Pop the fairing. Um, yeah, I suppose. Well, I tried. There was an attempt. An attempt was made. Um, and it didn't go very well. There we go. We've got... Oh, we could get nine science from that. Beep, boop, beep. <laughs> I like the fluff text. Because it's a telemetry report. It's just sending us automated beeps. It's going to be 24 units of electric charge, which I do not have. Uh, I think... If I start transmitting it, though... Yeah, you don't have to... Did I lose some of that, though? 18 science points. Interesting. I thought I was losing some, because every time that I was pressing it, kind of like more went away. Spin fix it. Spin it. Uh, well, I, I didn't quite get to orbit. We ran out of fuel. Sad. Anyway. I guess, do we, do we want to watch this burn up, or do we want to just go? Go get building the next thing. Do it while the engines are on, yes, because of the alternator, that's why I was doing it. As long as you send it while you're making power, you can do it. Spin fix it. The orbit will fix it too. <laughs> why do those engines look like small little legs? Um, because it wants to be a real boy. This this is the probe, like, it's it's growing legs. It's, um, it's just been decapitated. Probably. Not the best of endings. More power! Booster going up. Nah, it's done. Next! 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 Okay, right. <clears throat> More power, rabbit. I saw I saw that. Um, I watched it for the first time. Last night? Was it last night I watched it? Jojo Rabbit. I somehow completely missed that film. Um, I don't know what I thought it was about, but it wasn't... I, I saw a clip of it on, like, Reddit. And... Um, I was like, this looks quite funny. And then I went and watched it. I was like, wow, this is a comedy about <laughs> a certain man that I probably shouldn't say on YouTube. Otherwise I get demonetized. <laughs> right, anyway, let's go back to Mission Control and let's pick up this. Wonderful. We did it. We get 25 sites. Gotcha. With minimal explosions. I don't know. I think something would have exploded at the end of that. I have a feeling that the rocket would have gone... <laughs> If I'd have followed it all its way to its demise. Anyway, over and out. Thanks, science. Orbit Kermin. Secondary. Oh, we can go even higher. 500 kilometers. Nice. Well, we'll do that. And we also want to orbit Kermin. Cool. So I guess this is like a sounding rocket that's kind of like doing high altitude science. But I guess before we, uh, before we design our next mission... Let's come back here. And we spin. All the real ones remember twin bore engine. Oh yeah, it's not in um, KSP2 anymore, is it? I think the Mammoth also used to have like four engines or it, it's been changed. And now it's only one big one. But instead we've got like things like the Labradoodle, which is, I'm assuming it's meant to be like four poodles. Labradoodle's great engine. 
Great engine. Drum roll, here we go. Trust me, it's going to be funny. Oh, no. Oh, no. Four vectors. Oh, that was the mammoth. No, maybe it wasn't. Ooh. This has been so much kinder to me today. Honestly, I don't care about having no RCS. Physicist, thank you for the donation. Multiplayer interstellar quest of you, N9, Beardy, and Scott Manley. I think Scott knows who I am now. I'm fairly sure. Like, I've spoken to him. Um, I'm in a content creator chat in on Discord for uh, for KSP2 and just another one. And um, I have I have interacted with Scott on there. So I'm assuming he knows who I am now. Um, but yeah, that would be quite fun. Interstellar, like, interstellar multiplayer quest, that, that would be fun. I'm fairly sure Scott would be way too busy to do anything with us, though. I think me and Nine and Beardy, yeah, you, you could, we could probably do something like that, but Scott, maybe a little bit <laughs> out of my league. Orbital Kerbal Catapult, one second. Just had to mute myself then. I'm full of sick. I'm full of cold. Right, anyway, no RCS. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. It could be a lot worse. Let's go back to the stream. In, in fact, that's not going to bother me at all for this mission. It, it has been so nice. I, I was going on that before I got the super chat. Last time, I had to fly a 100% reusable mission to the moon with no reaction wheels when I didn't have RCS unlocked. Uh, so I had to use gimbal the entire way. It was, only, it was so, so much, so much harder. He is the sick. I am the sick. You can just <laughs> a reaction wheel. Yeah, exactly. Beyond home, I won't forget Karasa. I am going to be doing beyond home, basically. Right, when I get to a logical breakpoint and Kerbal gets real redux, which I think will be after the first moon landing, because um, there's not an awful lot in RP1 after that at the moment. There might be a bit, but at that time, I probably want to take a little bit of a break from that series and come back to it at a later point. Um, yeah, but when there's a logical breakpoint in um, KGRR, I am going to finish coming home redux because I want to get that series done. Like... I really want to get it done. It's, it's been like clawing at me, like pulling pulling me down. Like, uh, no, come, 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 stop that! It do be like that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I want to get it finished. Ah, uh, but anyway, what are we going to unlock? So basic aerodynamics would be nice because we get like, you know, a nose cone and wing. I love wing. Wing is good. Early electronics would be good. So I cannot afford all of these. I could afford three of them. More fuel tanks only adds the very small ones. So I'm not sure if I want to go for those. This would be good for better batteries and antenna and actually being able to recharge myself. Large boosters would be somewhat okay, although I don't think I need them. Efficient small engines. Oh, we get the spark. I, I love how the tech tree has been completely revamped. This is really cool. Oh, it's modded. It is modded. It is. We've got uh, basically the equivalent of probes before crew. It's where's my crew capsule? Um, oh, Miles Ellis. No spamming chat with the same thing. I, did, I didn't see that. Uh, rip farewell, Juno. <laughs> I want to finish that too. But that requires my brain to be in funny mode. And I am not the funny. I can be sometimes, but it, that, those... Honestly, like, I think they were like 14 minutes and 16 minutes long, the Farewell Kerbin and Eve episodes. And they took me about 120 hours of editing and doing all of that for each. It was, it was insane. <clears throat> right, I'm definitely going to go for basic aerodynamics. I think I'm going to go for the bottom three. Yeah, I, I think the bottom three is what I want. No, I don't want more fuel tanks. Basic survivability would be nice as well. Um, I definitely want that. Better probes would be nice. Early science. Oh, so I can pick up. This, this is so much hard. Cheese, you've made the tech tree hard. You've made me do what I do in RP1, which is question, what do I go for? Aerodynamics and early electronics sounds good. Then save for the better nodes are unlocked by aerodynamics. So um, aerodynamics, like larger aerodynamics... That I'm not fussed about. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Basic survivability might be good, though, because it means I can return something from orbit. But early science means I'll unlock more science. Um, larger boosters. Oh, I'm going to go for larger boosters, just so I get a bit of a kick. I've got no RCS, so I don't need to worry about 
That, I can design something, yeah. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Right, let's go to the VAB and build a, build a bigger sounding rocket. Cheese is the queen. She is. I think early science, then basic survivability. Well, I, I, <laughs> I, went, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way, but I want to build something big. I, I mean, I didn't need to do... That, that was a dumb choice. I, I, yeah, that, that, was, that was a mistake because... And, 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 and hear me out. I could have made it to orbit with just these. I, I didn't need this. I did not need this, but I wanted it. I wanted it. And that's gonna that's kind of gonna come back and bite me, right? So we want some fuel tanks on this. I think if we go for like say this much, and I come and get these, and this time I will remember batteries. Whack those in there like so, like that. Wonderful. I am on the right screen, aren't I? Uh, Kanasa, eh, don't worry, it'll be funny with less than acceptable selection of parts. <laughs> I think that I think that might be one of the biggest backhanders I've received for a while. Less than acceptable. Less than acceptable. Ah, uh, fine. I'm fine, I'm not fine, I'm sick, but um, yeah. It'll look, it looked like Sputnik before you elongated it. I mean, this this probe here is basically the Sputnik probe. That's that's what it's based on. It can make it look even more like Sputnik if I did this. Like, that's the wrong way. You come in here and you, you, you go four times symmetry on these things. And then I suppose this is actually gonna be my first attempt to orbit, so. Looking like Sputnik isn't, wouldn't be terribly bad. You get that, and then we offset it like that. And then you extend these. Look, it's actually Sputnik. Nice. Okay, good. Get well soon, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's just a cold. I thought it was something worse to begin with. But um, it was, it's been really upsetting because, right, so I started getting sick. Probably about last Monday. No. No, probably... Probably, um... Last Saturday? So before I streamed last weekend, um, there's probably another reason why I was more sick than than I should have been. What, what on earth did that do? That's not what I wanted. Um, but it meant that over Christmas and my birthday, I was really unwell. <laughs> and... I had like these big plans to play lots of board games on my birthday and, and like because I got bought a load for my birthday and Christmas and I was like all I, all I ended up doing was just sleeping and like staying in bed because I was really unwell which wasn't fun. Batteries! That's a really good idea. A really 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 solid idea and what I'm actually going to do is attach the batteries to Sputnik here. We'll get that there, that like that then I'll offset these in ever so slightly, like so. Uh, it's a shame I don't have any bigger fuel tanks, right? Because that, that would be nice. And there we go. I don't know how much electric charge that is, but hopefully it should be enough. Um, all right, that's that's more than enough for us to wait. I actually probably don't want to do that. Definitely not that. Uh, probably add, like, maybe some more. <clears throat> That gives me 2,571 meters per second of delta V. Okay, okay, right, let's um, whack this here. And then if I put this at the bottom, like so, what does that give me? 3,341, it's not quite enough to get to orbit. But that is a ridiculous thrust to weight ratio that's going to literally tear me apart. I think I'm going to go for something like this. Whack another couple of uh, these on the side. Whack a nose cone on there. And put some stabilizers down at the bottom here on the SRB. Move them around a bit so that they're uh, in a better position. 
More solid fuel. More solid fuel. Multiple solid fuels. Um, problem with like having multiple solid fuel boosters though is that I can't I can't turn. Like it's it's just gonna go up. Up, and I mean, I guess one of the contracts that I have got is to go 500 kilometers up, but you know, make it metal colored. Uh, yeah, that's something that I can do. I can color this one because all of these have been the same color. Uh, yeah, make it metal colored. Anyone, everyone makes a Sputnik as a first craft, although there are variants of it, but nobody makes a little Explorer saddle up, bro. <laughs> Poor Explorer. Can't really do Explorer though, unless you're playing um, like with procedural parts because it's, you know, it's really, it's really, it's shaped like an eggplant. Yes, it's a, it's got a questionable shape. Um, yeah, so in, in at least stock KSB, it's, it's a lot harder to make something that looks like Explorer. Right, uh, what we're going to do is probably just whack another four of these on, like so. And that gives me, if I do that there, that there, fire that up. And that gives me not enough delta B. Why does that... Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. I have messed up my staging. That's what I want it to be. That now gives me 3,900. That's enough. That 4,482. That is enough to orbit Kerbin. That is definitely enough. Um, and I think I've got all that I want. And uh, another thing, actually. No. I'm going to put some solar panels on it. Oh, my God. I wish I wasn't sick. Doesn't everyone wish that when they're unwell, though? Who wants to be sick? Like, if you're unwell, you're like, no. No, I, I, I love this right now. Anyway, we've, we've got modified Sputnik in that it's kind of got, you know, stuff. Um, I'm just going to leave it as a probe. Like so. And we'll whack that on there. Uh, there we go. That goes about there. And then I just need to make sure that this is aerodynamically stable. That is there, perfect. But I probably <clears throat> I'm gonna want some on this stage. So if I get four on there, yes, yes, yeah, that looks good. That looks good, and I think this should be somewhat stable. Nice. Sputlongnik or Explonger. <laughs> Fair. Call it no jab. Like I said, more solid fuel. We, we, could, we could go for more solid fuel. Launch it even higher. I mean... Screw it. We've, we've not got funds or anything to constrain us. Like, like, stuff like that. So, why not? Why not? Why not? And then, then, yeah, after this, I, I will be done. We'll, we'll add just two solid rocket boosters. This is like the, the, the weirdest looking sounding rocket ever. It would look a lot better if I could, um, like, actually make the interstages look a bit better. But screw it. Screw it. Right, we'll do that. Then that. Then that. And where is Micro Engineer gone? That will give me 4,000. This could go to the moon. <laughs> this could actually go to the moon. No limit for probes. Explore, explonger, explonger gets my vote. I, I, I like that. So this, this is the explonger, <laughs> explonger launch uh, or explonger satellite. What did I do? Oh, there we go. Explonger. Um, we're gonna save this up. Save, save, and then I'm gonna color it. Right. So people said metal. Uh, I'm gonna color it all like that to begin with. Lovely. That actually looks somewhat kind of cool. People think I should colour that in any more than that? Like, I like I like the metal look. It's very metal. It's, it's very like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a metal band. Very Thrasher, Slayer, Cannibal Corpse. They're metal bands, aren't they? I don't really listen to metal. The, the heaviest thing I listen to is, uh, is N Shikari. I'm wearing one of their t-shirts right now. Red Stripe for the Speed. Oh, oh, how, how, how could I forget? Absolutely. We want red stripes down here. Red red stripe um, is actually, <laughs> it's like a beer in uh, the UK and it's usually associated with like, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> like free parties and stuff, which is quite funny. Give the main stack some color. The boosters could be metal. The main stack some color. Um, what, what if I go white? Like,
like so. The boosters remain metal, payload fairing goes white, inside is all metal, and then I guess because we've got that there, we can do that. Didn't mean to do that, 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 and that. And there we go, I think I'm ready to launch this. Explonger is ready to be launched. So let's, uh, let's get to the launch pad. Must I inquire, what is wrong, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Oh, wow, wow yeah. <laughs> are you okay, Sterling? I hope you are okay. <laughs> Name it Molybdenum. Fun element. That actually looks pretty decent, not gonna lie. Solid, 9 out of 10. No snad, there's two solids. One, two. I'm... Be gone. This is, you, you gotta tell me to leave. It wasn't funny. Just, just go. The wings are glitchy. Are they? I've lost my mouse now. Are they? No, no, but I don't know why this is firing. Anyway, we're gonna launch a rocket. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and we go. Nice. Oh, that, that, that certainly does go up. It's always nice when it goes up. Oh! Wait, what? Did I just auto stage? I'm confused! Explain! Oh, we are losing a lot of speed. This. I didn't check the. Um, I did not check the thrust to weight ratio of this stage. Um. We do have sufficient thrust. But our time is going down. And and this this confuses me. Should probably start tipping over. You might have K2D2 auto staging enabled. Small S button on the top window. On the top of the window. See, I had not used K2D2 before today. This this is the first time I've flied, uh, used it at all. So that's interesting to know. It's kind of cool that it has auto staging. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. That's so cool. What? I really like that. Mods are great. Mods are mod, mod, mods are fantastic. I, I, I love I love mods. Mods are amazing. Anyway, this should hopefully get to orbit. We've got two and a half thousand meters per second of delta V remaining. I'm gonna start pointing to my orbit pro uh, vector now. Madness. What is this sorcery? Madness. Madness. This is K two D two. Can't do shouting with my voice in its current state. Nice, we got no science, wonderful. Fun thing, K2D2 also cooperates with flight plan to automatically perform maneuvers. <gasps> so basically it is Megjeb. I like that a lot. I really like that, I do have flight plan as well. Modern community for KSP2 already doing great things. Already doing great things. I mean, I'm, I'm sounding rocketing in, in KSP2 already. Like, not even a couple of weeks after Four Sides was released. Fairing. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Fairing, be gone. Be gone. Well, I tried. That there was, once again, an attempt at removing the fairing. I've got 1,500 meters per second of Delta B remaining. Um, I'm actually thinking this might not make it. This is going to be really tight. Like, really, really, really tight. 
I guess what I could do is probably kill the throttle when I get to about 100 kilometers. Yeah. Right, and then we're going to time warp and buy fairing. Fairing be gone. Um, I reckon, how much burn time do I have left? Uh, 49 seconds. So I reckon when I get to about 20... Five seconds. I'm going to start up the um, the engines again, and we'll see. Yeah, let's go. See if we can get into orbit with this. I have my doubts because that delta V is going down way quicker than my orbital speed is going up. You can't get the fairing off, Kanasa. If only you had RCS. <laughs> How will Explonger get free? No! Fling them off. I did try to fling them off. It wasn't going well. Um, yeah, th th there was an attempt, but it didn't go well. I think this will make it to orbit. But I want to make sure that, you know, I've got a very circular orbit. Don't want to don't be doing some weird elliptical orbits. No. All right, 100, 400 meters per second left. Oh, God. Yeah, we, we have made it to orbit. Nice. With 250 meters per second of delta V left. This is, this has become so much harder. Like, I, I love it. This is actually make, making science challenging. Like, I've, I've had three launches and I've only just gotten to orbit. It's like, it's literally like RP1. I think I think you need to change the deploy settings for the ferry to not bug. <laughs> Jim Miguchi saying cheating. Was that was that in relation to me um, using time warp to fling the fairings off into the vast emptiness of space? Or was that in relation to something different? But will I get to 500 kilometers? I don't think 500 and th uh, 236 meters per second is enough to get to 500 kilometers. I, I think um, I am still going to be some way off that, unfortunately. I like the little beep that it makes when it does the science reports. Like if I create a manoeuvre, I didn't want to do that, create a manoeuvre at my periaps, if I do 236, Oh, it might just. Oh, that is so incredibly close. Technically, this is our first set. It is. It is. Nah, RP1 has way more sound. Uh, uh, yeah, like, uh, I probably over-exaggerated that a little bit. But it is. It's not quite like... Well, in... Um, with the first node tech in KSP2, I, I launched a Tylo. I landed on Tylo. Speaking of, I need to finish that. I need to send um, send him back. It's just so much, it's so painful. I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to subject myself to that anymore. Chat, use the power of friendship to empower Karnasa. And by the power of friendship, what Snad means is go join the Discord. There's a link in the description. Go check it out. It's fun. We, 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 we do have fun times there. I don't want to deorbit. This is just going to be a satellite. No, there's no point in deorbiting this. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a probe. Just a probe. And at the end of the day, it was just a probe in a cage. The link isn't there. Oops. <laughs> well, that's a that that seems that sounds about right. How did I not? I don't know how that happened. Junk. The long probe that could right three, two. I should really use micro engineer for this. It's more accurate. All right, we're gonna burn. We're gonna burn. Three hundred. Four hundred. Oh, would you look at that? 559,000. And then we stage. I might turn off auto stage because that could lead to things becoming problematic. Um, like, 
I know I, th that was fine there, but there's probably going to be designs that I use um, that that might be a problem. Or maybe it won't. Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Still, it's a really nice little feature. The music reminds me of City Skylines 1, which is kind of feels wrong. Does it? I've not played City Skylines 1 with... Um, uh, without listening to music for a long time. In fact, well, I've not played City Skylines 1 for a long time. I played City Skylines 2 when that came out. Um, didn't really like it all that much. I played it for a bit, but it wasn't great. Right, so we're going to extend these because, you know, it has to look like Sputnik. And we'll get... We'll get an image... A, 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 a video of the ball... The ball floating around Kerbin. It's it's one giant Kerbin ball. Kind of said. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ball all over Kerbin. Ooh, the glint from the sun hitting the probe was was perfect. All right, let's get a let's get a little bit of a of a beauty shot. We watch it go round. And then we go into the next one, Sput Not. <laughs> Gains power as well, it's got a little solar panel on. It's a slightly, yeah, it's, it's Sputnik, but Sput Large. It's not Small Nick, it's, it's Large Nick. Oh, that's just my friend from school. But yeah, it sounded like we got another mission complete there as well, which is wonderful. Sput Knock has made it to orbit. Science. Um, oh yeah, that's, that's a point. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. How did I get that up? Oh, it's F1. Uh, yeah, we should have Kerbin in high orbit desert. Let's uh, let's get gain some science. Why am I running out of electric charge? It's the wrong way. Which way do I want to go? I want to point like this way. There we go. No, 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 no. Let's let's stay there. Let's get max exposure up. We can expose this probe to the world. And yeah, let's get our high science. And hopefully it gets transmitted. How long does science take? Oh. Interesting. Ah. <laughs> Hmm, I think what I need to do is I need to... Can I hibernate this? Uh, I'm not sure if I can. No, it doesn't look like I can. I was going to say, if I hibernate this and wait it for wait for it to go around a couple of orbits so it gains electric charge, but it looks like... Yeah, yeah, this is the satellite that just can't. Clearly I needed more battery, or bigger solar panels, or more solar panels. That did not go well. Oh well, we'll go back to the space center, we'll go back to mission control and accept those. Science is using it faster than the one panel can gain. Turn off the communitrons, oh I could have done. Turn off reaction wheels and antenna, yeah. Okay, I think, um, well, I'll pick up this science, and then I will go and do that and see if I can get some more. We went high! Nice. Nice. We did go high, and we also orbited Kerbin, which gave me quite a bit of science. There you are, Mag... Oh, I'm a magnificent magnet of scientific study, am I? I did a mate. Oh, thank you, Kerry. Thank you so much. I, I never had any doubts. Anyway, there we go. We have orbited Kerbin, going green, Mooner Impactor, crashed into the moon. Moon or bust. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we can do that. Easy, going green. Tapture, Science Junior, yep, yeah, we can do that. And Mooner Impactor will also do that. Okay. Right, let's go back to the tracking station. I want to see if I can get the last little bit of science from this. Um, hopefully. Maybe if I, yeah, unextend the communitrons, it might get me a bit more battery. 
although it is just idle. And then if we turn off the reaction wheel, maybe. How do I cancel? Uh, not sure if we are going to get much from this. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get anything from this. Which is a bit of a shame. Yay, smashy smashy time. Right. <clears throat> We're going to go back and build. But first, before building, there's something that needs to be done. Oh, once again. We find ourselves back here. You can time warp and recharge and continue transmitting where you left off. I might give it another go. Spin to win. Exactly. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? What are, what are we going to get? Is it going to be something disgusting? Is it going to be something that's really going to make me question my life choices leading up to this moment? Or is it going to be something that I am going to be quite okay with? It's been quite okay with this entire stream so far, to be fair. I've not had, I've not had an issue with this. At all. Crude vessel for the impactor, yeah. We get like, um, th there's one here where it's like a 10 Kerbal crew. 10 Kerbal crew. We just literally send 10 Kerbals off to die. We kill them. We murder them. Murder, murder, murder. Change the thing record. A 10 reaction control wheels. Polar launch. I've got, uh, yeah, we, you reckon polar launch, spin the wheel, spin the wheel, spin the wheel. The wheel has been spun. What are we going to get? Now we are just playing RP1. Like, like RO. No throttle. No throttle. That means I can only press Z or X. I can have 100% throttle or I can have no throttle. Good thing I am an RO player, so I'm quite used to this. But yeah, that's 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 gonna that that one I'm not too bothered with. That one is fine. That one is absolutely fine. But I think I'm gonna go for a quick break because my throat is really dying. I need to go get myself a drink and sort myself out for a bit. But I shall be back. Hopefully, maybe in about five minutes or so. But until then, I will. Yeah, I'll be be, be right back. Be right back. Where is my be right back screen gone? It's new. There it is.
Alright, we're back. Yeah, <laughs> just got record box playing in the background. Um, I went and got myself some water and got myself a monster too. And hopefully, with a little bit of a, a rest, my voice should be okay to carry on for a bit more. But it is difficult talking when you've got a sore throat. He's back, I'm back. And yeah, this is this uh, this song. I think it's called uh, "Mystical Experience" by Unicorn Heads. Yeah, there we go. You can see it. You can see it up there. Um, I have used this song in my videos since the original Kerbal Gets Real. I really like it. It's it's, it's, it's a nice little beat. It's, it's funky. Um, Unicorn Heads are great for um, music. They've got loads of copyright free music on YouTube Studio, and I use a lot of their stuff in my videos because they're pretty chill quite nice to have something like I always put music in the background of my videos because it's nice to have something in the background I've not been doing that whilst I've been streaming this time around though one because I've not got anything set up like I don't have a playlist set up which I need to do and two because I quite enjoy the music from KSP2 and I want to have it in there whilst I've still got like whilst it's like new and fresh so that's why I've not been having uh, music in the background of these streams Ooh, Mango Monster the best type I love this stuff like I, I I, me and my girlfriend, we buy probably like a four pack of this every week. It's, it's not good. It's, it's not good. <laughs> but it's so nice. It's so nice. It's, it's, it's really, really, really nice. Anyway, I'm on the wrong screen. Let's go back to this one. And let's build ourselves a rocket. I can't remember the challenge. No throttle. No throttle. And all we need to do is impact the moon. Right, that that's what we'll go for. We'll, we'll do a we'll do a Mooner Impactor. I didn't go to R and D. Right, no. First, we go to R and D because there's some stuff that I can unlock, and I definitely want to be unlocking stuff. I've got 57 signs. Um, efficient small engines might be needed to go to the moon. Yeah, we we're, we're gonna we're gonna pick those up. Uh, large aerodynamics I don't want right now. Basic survivability I don't need uh, for... I'm not, I'm not going to be returning to Kerbin. I'm just going to be smacking something straight at the moon. How about both? Are you doing Lunar Impactor or Lunar Orbiter? I was going to do Lunar Impactor, but I guess I could do both. I could do both in one mission. Like, I just slow into orbit and then capture, but... That would require more Delta V, because I'd have to actually orbit the moon and then bring myself down from low moonar orbit to to impact. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll, I'll see what I can design. Um, right, so basic construction. I don't want that. I don't want larger aerodynamics. Survivability might be nice, uh, but at the same time, I don't really think I need that for this. Larger radial tanks, myth locks. When do I unlock bigger tanks there? Yeah. Hmm. If I get early science, I can get one more 15. Uh, I think I do want that. I kind of also want better electronics because my electronics run out very quickly. Um, better probes might be nice as well, but that's going to cost me 50. More fuel tanks. I suppose now that I have got 
early science. Basic survivability will mean that I can return something from Kerbin Orbit quite easily. So I am gonna, I'm gonna go for that. And then I think next time around, I'll probably go for basic construction. Yeah, that's what that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. It's it's hard. It's picking all of these is so much harder than it was last time I played this, especially with low science rewards. Anyway, so we're gonna go to the moon. Uh, and this is going to be an impactor. I'm not even going to bother putting like a decoupler on this. This is going to be my impact probe. Let's have a look. Let's bring up micro engineer and see what this gets me. That gets me whoa, quite a lot of quite a lot of delta v. This engine is so much better. I don't think this has gimbal though, right? Oh no, it does. It can gimbal. Wonderful. Ah, I'm in front of the nodes. Yeah. That's, um, problem is, wherever I put the camera, it's going to get in the way of the game somewhere. And this was just where the camera was on the overlay. What mods am I playing with? I'm playing with, where's my crew capsule, which basically is probes before crew. I'm playing with micro engineer. There's, there's, there's a whole, there's a whole load. I should really probably add a mod list. I'm going to be doing a mod video soon. I think within like the next week. Uh, going over some of the new mods because some of them are really exciting. Some of them are really cool, right? If I get that put that on there get maybe like four batteries or six batteries that should hopefully Hopefully be enough That gives me 1401 meters per second of Delta V which means this if this gets to orbit that will be enough to get me to the moon, 850, slow down at the moon, 250, and 300 to crash into the moon. So this should be able to do both, or, or all of them, yeah, both both contracts that I've picked up. In fact, I can probably give it even more battery life. Um, I'm not going to attach this because this is too big. Uh, but what I will do is get like loads of telemetry data, which will be great. And then if I whack maybe like a couple of these on, like whack two on down the sides, like there. There we go. We've got, we have communications, and then I can maybe do like two solar panels there, two solar panels there, and we've got ourselves a basic Muna impactor. Um, it's a little bit tight on Delta V requirements, but I think it should be fine. I think that should be okay. All right, so we're going to put a decoupler there. Then I'm going to do... I don't have small fuel tanks yet, which is a little bit annoying. But what I will do is put a payload fairing on top of this. Like so. If we get that coming out to about here. If I do... If I turn snap off, it'll do it a bit quicker. Do that. And there we go. And that is going to be our payload with no throttle. Science and a basic camera so we can see the crash. I don't have any basic cameras. There's no camera mod yet. Should still put a reaction wheel on it, you reckon? One reaction wheel? We can get one reaction wheel. There we go. Um, that gives me 1,020 meters per second. That is cutting it a little bit fine in terms of fuel capability. But I think that should be okay. Yeah, 1,000. Why have I got two stages now that have different amounts? 1,003. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. That's fine. No, I didn't want to do that. No. Hmm. Mm. Hmm, there we go. Better. Right now, I need to get about 3,400 meters per second to actually get this to space. Maybe not quite that much, but, you know, somewhere around that number. That gives me 700. Why have I got all of these stages? I don't need all of these stages. 634 meters per second with a decent amount of thrust. Okay, well, we can get more than that. One point... If I put like a couple of these on the side, do that. 1.54, yeah, that's load. I can make this probably quite a bit bigger. Right, one camera mod coming soon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lo, I left YouTube for like six months and no one noticed. Hello, Andrew the Astronaut. Welcome back. Welcome back.
SRBs in a kick stage. This is this is going to be my upper stage. Like I, I still need about two and a half thousand meters per second of delta V for the the next stage. So yeah, we're we're, we're definitely. Um, this is not done by any by any stretch of the imagination. I think what I'll do is, in order to make this a little bit more capable, is get an extra small nose cone like that, and then we will make this stage a little bigger. Get rid of that, I didn't mean to do that. Put that on there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's it's all it's all gone, Pete Tong. Uh, everything is everything is not in the right orientation. There we go. Line them up. Oh, much better. Much better. Beautiful. All right, we'll get that and then line this up as well. I don't know why this does this, but there we go. And then I will keep building this up. Keep going. Maybe about there. I want these to be four-way symmetry, please. Like, like that. And then I go for these there, that there. Whack those on like so. And that gives me a decent thrust-to-weight ratio, but not a decent amount of delta V. So that needs to change. This doesn't look half bad either. Gaming Space Cats. To do mods, this must be longer than the <laughs> list of internal bugs at this point. <laughs> Is it. Are you working on a clock, Shadow Dev? I know, I know um, someone was saying that they were working on an alarm clock. I can't remember who it was, but that is something I really want. I think that's like my, my, my most wanted mod at the moment is an alarm clock mod. That would be fantastic. Um, yeah, that's definitely something I really, really would quite like. Right, so I think this might not be correct, but we will see. And then at the bottom of this, we're just going to propel this with a couple of these. That doesn't give me an awful lot of delta V. 300 and 263. That's what, like 2000... 1682. Just trying to figure out how much delta V I have. Um, 1682, so that's what, like... I need your calculator mod. I need to get the calculator mod. That would, that would make things a lot easier. Um... 1,700, it's like 2,600. It's not enough. It's not enough. Needs more. Maybe I should make these like six-way symmetry. Yeah, like, like so, except actually place them in line like there. Needs more, more engines, more rocket. And then we offset that ever so slightly so that they're kind of like not clipping uh, because clipping is bad. That gives me, does that give me no more Delta V? What? No, it does give me a bit more. Um, I could also make these bigger. If this is right, this, this might very well not be like the correct numbers, uh, which I have a feeling it's not. And I have a feeling that this is not going to get the thrust to weight ratio that I'm being told right now. Uh, because, yeah, because there's multiple stacks of engines. But, we shall see. Get that there like that. See, I don't think I have that much thrust. Uh, that should be fine. And then we just get a solid booster at the bottom. Maybe we get one more, or I move this up a bit. Like there. I move that to there. And move these up a bit more. Like so. And there we go. Now I just need some wings. Make sure it's aerodynamically stable because we wouldn't want this being un aerodynamically stable. More SRBs. We could do more SRBs. That is, yeah, go on. We'll, we'll have one more SRB. We'll, we'll have a couple of SRBs. 
There we go. Give them what they want. And the answer is, um, what they want is more solid rocket boosters. Yeah, sending bugs into space before cats and kerbals would be nice. I mean, we're basically sending frogs. Kerbals are frogs, right? They're glorified frogs. Well, that's a lot of boosters on there now. I'm quite happy with the amount of boosters we've got. That goes off. That goes off to begin with. Then that goes off there. Then that goes off there. And then we go to the moon. Not because it's easy, but because you are hard. I mean, what? <clears throat> Yes. <laughs> I don't know why that made my center of lift go down. Oh, no, it didn't. There we go. Fine. Look at this crazy contraption. Right, chat. It's time for the naming. If you want to make a mod, just ask on the modding server and you can have all the help you need. The modding server is great. I should really start including like links to that when um, I do live streams, especially when I play like with modded KSP. As a game dev, give link please. No throttle time. Oh yeah, we're not using throttle for this. I almost forgot that. I will, you'll, you'll have to, if, if I, if I forget and cut down the throttle to below 100%, then that means I'm going to have to do two challenges for the next launch. Because I will have failed the challenge and that would be terrible, I think. Do I want to like bring that down a little bit? Because I feel like, yeah, that's, that's a little bit better. Moon Kaboom. <laughs> it rhymes. It rhymes. And that is the aim. So, yeah, there we go. Moon Kaboom. Here we go. We've got batteries. We've got everything. I don't think there's anything I am missing. So it is night time. But that doesn't matter. We're just going to send it. We're going to send it. And hopefully we get somewhere. Call it Bonk. Oh, oh, oh what? 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 We are underground. We are under... The Kabul Space Center. Can you actually fly through this? No, I don't think you can. I know N9 was trying to, but I'm, I'm fairly sure that you can't. Right, anyway. Moon Kaboom is ready to go. What happens if you roll the re-roll twice result twice in a row? That means I have to do, like, three challenges. It's not happened yet. But I imagine it will. It will happen at some point, and it will make me very sad. Let's turn on auto staging whilst we do this first bit. There we go. Very cool. Also very dark. I'm not sure how well this is going to be shown on YouTube. Because <laughs> darkness is never good. And there we go. We have lit up this stage. And this does provide a decent amount of thrust, actually. More than I was anticipating. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The sun. On the rocket. Oh, it's a mate. Oh, hello. I don't know why the game view just came up, but it's fine. We go to space. Not because it's hard, but because it's easy. Yeah, this should be fine. Hit program. I probably should use K2D2 to try and actually just launch me, because I think it does do that, if I am not mistaken. I'm fairly sure there is, like, options in it to basically be Mech Jeff Ascent Guidance, which would be really nice, uh, because then I can actually, like, just, just leave it be. I like Mech Jeff Ascent Guidance. I really do. It's, it's, it's really, really useful. Oh, shit. I mean... Well, next time it's two challenges. I use throttle. Ah! Well, next time round, I'm going to have to not do that. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm too tired to be doing this. Forgetting the rules. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, right, no more throttle from now on. I will still do two challenges next time round though. But no more throttle from now on. That's annoying. 100% <laughs> throttle with 100% reuse when? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, what happened to my... Oh, oh, it, it staged automatically. Right. There we go. The probe is done. Right, let's get to our apogee. Or well, apo curb. Apo curb? I don't know what it is. Yeah, one of the reasons why um, my stream overlay, like, I've changed it for today is because my green screen, which is behind my cat crate thing to the right of me, um, it was really difficult setting up and it didn't, like, fit on the chair that I'm sat on at the moment. So I decided, yeah, I'm just going to not have a green screen and I'll have this in my background. It also means I get to show off, like, the Lego Space Shuttle, and the Lego Saturn V, and the and the, the Lego ISS uh, that I've got in the back of uh, my study. Which I do very much like. Uh, let's fire up, fire up, fire up, fire up, fire up, fire up, and kill. And burn and kill, burn and kill, burn and kill. There we go. You know what would make it really, really, really difficult? Maybe not the 100% reuse, although that one would be pretty, pretty damn difficult. If I were to get 100% throttle, like all or nothing throttle, and one ignition per engine, because it means I couldn't do what I just did there and like spam X and Z and like cut and kill, it'd mean I'd only be able to do it once. Zero green screen looks better. I mean, yeah, I get a nice background. You can see... Well, I don't know what you can see. You can see, like, my, my board games, kind of. Well, no, you can't, because there's a TV in the way. Um, you can see my Mac. That's what I used to have my chat on when I used to stream at my old place, but now I've got a second monitor, so it's better. You can see my, my Enter Shikari album up there, my vinyl. Got a lot of vinyls in this room. Oh, a real RP1 moment. Yeah, it would. Cheese is adding that to Where's My Crew Capsule. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh, I got stuck on this build just yesterday, so you can just add more boosters. Exactly. More boosters is always the way. This is Kerbal Space Program, not Herbal Spice Program. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to the moon. We're going we're gonna to attempt to warp it. Because, yeah. Let's uh, try using Maneuver Node Controller. So I know to get to the moon, you need about, what, 850 meters per second? So if I move this up to... 850 and just do that look at that look at that and then I can wiggle this around uh, with this and there we go I have an inca- oh that's so much better that is so much better uh, 47 uh, so my periaps needs to be above 60 kilometers if I remember correctly so we want to do this and go for about there Right, and that is, right, so that was instantly so much easier to plan out that manoeuvre than it is in just the normal stock game. Start burn in 4 minutes and 22 seconds. Let's go for our manoeuvre and we'll get this burn. How does your mission go? How does, how does your mission go? I just returned from dinner. Um, I mean, the, the mission has gone well in that it will be a success. What hasn't gone well is sticking to the mission parameters and not using not full throttle. Mistakes were made. I may have throttled down during ascent. Anyway. Yeah, well, it wasn't great. I, I, I done goofed. I, I done, I did, I did a silly. Time warp limited due to proximity to celestial body. No, you mean that I am close to my maneuver and I want to get maneuver up because this will tell me exactly when I need to start and how much delta, so, so much more useful. So much more useful, more information. Give me all of the information. I'm flying rockets, not designing spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentations. 
I need all of the information I can get. It's a little bit, little bit, little bit more complicated. Yeah, what would have been a better thing to say that I'm designing rockets, not not managing a football team. I don't know. I, I imagine managing a football team is quite hard. I have played uh, <laughs> some of the um, football manager games in my time, and I've got no idea what I'm doing. Right, we. I've got a lunar encounter. No, we don't. We've got. We are. We are impacting the moon. Quick, turn the other way. <laughs> it's rocket science, not brain surgery. It's Bamex. Let's get this a little bit lower. There we go. 90, 90 kilometers. That is fine. We're gonna go orbit the moon. First, let us make. Oh, I can't make a manoeuvre. Can I make a manoeuvre with manoeuvre node controller, though? So add first node. So I want that to be in four hours. Uh, can, I, can I set that? Manoeuvre node in zero orbits. Can I, can I set it to be in four hours? Interesting. Oh, it's it's there. I suppose I can do that, but it is a little bit annoying that I can't actually make the maneuver here. I think that might be a bug. Um, so I want this to be about like two fifty. And why is that? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. That shouldn't be like that, but screw it. We're, we're, we're going to make our way to the moon. There we go. Sputnik small or Sputnik long is on its way to the moon. Hopefully we get enough electric charge and we don't die. We are running out though. Oh dear. Not looking promising. You don't need a whole liver. If you remove the smaller lobe, it'll grow back and that lobe can grow into a whole new liver in someone else. Nice. It is a bug. Okay, fair. If you try to steal my liver, I'll steal your lungs. <laughs> That's um, like ASDF movie. Oh, oh. Hey, it's, it's, what is it? It's like, hey, look, someone wrote gullible on the ceiling. Oh, son of a bitch, you stole my lungs. Or something like that. All right, let's go to the moon. Let's get over to that grey rock. The, the big grey shiny boy thing in outer space that does sometimes want to be bonked with hard bonking. <laughs> Bonk, go to bonking jail. Yes. Oh god, I'm so not with it. Okay. Slow to report. Moon high orbit. I'm gonna get, like, no science from this. Where is the sun? Oh no. Kerbin's blocking the sun! God damn it, Kerbin. Kerbin, why? <laughs> Why have you done this? It's a total carbon eclipse! Not great. Charlie the Unicorn. <laughs> ah yes, human liver trafficking program. No, that's my RimWorld stream. Um, which I haven't done for a long time. I think the last time I did a RimWorld stream was about two years ago. About Christmas- oh it might- yeah, I think it was about Christmas two years ago. When my uh, GPU died. Sun, despite being a deadly laser, is now dead. I'm gonna have to uh, Hope, right, that, oh god, what, what, what has it done? Why did it spin? I, I don't understand. I don't understand where the spin came from. Right, anyway, we're going to get down to about there. There we go. And we're going to wait in orbit until I regain electric charge so I can perform some of these experiments. Oh god, why is why is my battery just being eaten? Like what what what? Oh wow, <laughs> this thing moves quick. <laughs> right, where's the sun? What's my exposure? Sixty-seven percent, six percent. Zero point zero six. 
Mm, yeah, we're not, we're not exactly going to be gaining any electric charge from this. Put loads of batteries on this as well. I'm not even going to be able to get... Right, okay, so what we do is we turn off that. And we also turn off that. And I turn off that. And now maybe we get a little bit of electric charge. Yeah, yes, we're gaining EC. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, perfect. This is what I needed. I've put the probe into hibernation mode somehow without realizing it. And this is this is so much better. It's gone for its nap, and now I can actually send uh, my reports back. But I do need to enable control. So run telemetry report. And this is going to eat through my battery like, like something eats through something. Yes. I, I can't think of a comparative at the moment because uh, science is to be had. My sound is cutting out. Oh dear. I wonder if that's just the stream dying. Does KTT2 have smart ASS? I don't actually know. Let's have a look. No, not, not by the looks of things. Do the, and then the science from Farewell KSP. It's going to eat through the battery the way Cyberpunk eats your GPU. <laughs> or more like the way KSP2 eats your GPU. Actually, I think it's got, it's got a lot better. I am running at pretty consistent frames now. It's, uh... It's uh, a lot better. So, skipped frames due to encoding lags. I've dropped no frames, so I don't think it's the stream. I think it might be my mic, maybe. Has it been okay now? Hello. Hello, Mr. V8. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. What we're about to do is destroy this poor, innocent little probe. It did so much wrong to the world. It gained me science, and now it must die. Because we have a Muna Impactor to do. Alright, but first, I want to make sure that I like... Actually, I've got... <laughs> so, I could land this. But I'm not going to. But I, I could. I've got enough Delta V in this to land it. So I might actually do that. I might just refly this mission um, next time round when I need to land on the moon. And just use this to land on the surface, because it's got 1,085 meters per second, which is more than enough to land on the surface of the moon. Um, where are you going? Where, where do you think you're going? You should be uh, talk enabled. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's just fire this up. And we're going to go for Muna Impactor. I kind of want to visit that canyon. That canyon looks cool. I think I should visit that canyon. Maybe I will visit that canyon. Where am I going to land? There. Comnet lines. I really like that as well. It's going to make um, setting up comnets uh, a lot nicer. Right, anyway, let's just watch this demise. Die. Die a death of deadly death. What TFX do I use for KSP1? Um, I've been using something called Bleak recently. Uh, which looks really, really, really nice. Or Ballistic Fox's profiles. Bleak or Ballistic Fox's profiles tend to be my go-tos. They're really, really, really good uh, TFX profiles. Nice! We had an explosion! Lots of explosions. Wait, Kanasa, what's stopping you from landing, then launching again, just to smash into the moon? Nothing was. Nothing was. That would have been a smart thing to do. And then I would have gained more science. More science from that mission. But alas.
Yeah. That's for spooky music. Um, yeah, no, I could have done that. That would have been really smart. And I would have been able to get a bit of science from the surface of the moon, done a little hop. I don't think I transmitted any of that science either, did I? Because I've only got 17 science left over. God. I am not doing well, but how did I... I've not launched a science junior yet, so I shouldn't have completed that, but I'm going to complete it anyway, because science is currently pretty damn difficult to get. Thanks, science. Moonar Impactor, submit. We did it. We crashed a probe into the moon for science. Yay. Reward. 20 science gained. And then moon or bust. And we get lots of science for that. Yay. You did it. You did it. As of this moment, we're leading the space race. I still do too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've read, I've read all of this. Well, there wasn't a Kerbal on board. We've not even got to crude Kerbals yet. One small step. <clears throat> Land on the surface of the moon. Yep, we'll do that. Space walking. EVA. That's going to be something that I'm not going to be able to do for a while. Plant a flag. That's going to be something I'm also not going to be able to do for a while. Um, track mission. The perfect circle. Well, that I'll be able to do quite easily. Let's go to the R&D center and pick up some new tech. But before I do this... It's time to spin. Leading what space race? Who are we racing against? We are racing against... The clock. The clock must be beaten. Because the clock has very fast legs. And it's hard to win against the clock. Have you seen the clock's legs? They're, they're, they're like... 20 meters long, so the clock runs fast. Almost as fast as a dinosaur on speed. Two spins this time. I do have two spins this time. Because I failed the throttle. Let's go for spin number one. Okay, so it's time for you to decide. Community vote means you get to pick something, confer amongst yourselves in live chat. Give me an idea and we'll see what's a good one to go for. And yeah, then, then I, will, I will do that. Can we wait until the second spin? Yeah, sure. Well, we'll go for the second spin. Right, so second spin is gonna be... Okay, so I get to roll twice again, but I only choose one of them. This is, this is a lot of spins. This is a lot of spins. This is the first one. I'm nervous. So we got a boat launch. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that at the moment, but we'll see. Or... Well, I mean, I haven't even unlocked docking port, so I'm clearly going to go for that. <laughs> um, so that means I've got no docking ports, so that's basically a null challenge. And um, whatever you guys decide. Oh yeah, it's time for pain, bruh. Upside down is good too. Wobble, 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 turn on wobble, turn on wobble, cough out. <laughs> I mean, it's part of the challenge. I could pick what I wanted. <laughs> turn on wobble. I like that. I like that. We'll, we'll turn on wobble. And I'll also add that to the list. It's going to be called Turn On Wob. It's going to be added to the list, and we'll, we'll do that. Runway speed record. <laughs> I don't know how to do those speed records. It's not something I've ever been interested in. Also, hello, Vales. Welcome to the stream. It's been a while. I saw um, you uploaded a video 
I think it was either today or yesterday. I've not gotten around to watching it yet, but I am. I do plan on watching it on, uh, on KSP2, right? And um, it's been a while since I've, I've seen you, but if you don't know Vales, definitely go check out his channel. There's amazing, amazing stuff. Very funny. Makes me laugh a lot. Uh, great KSP content creator, so go check him out. Okay, Wobble is good. Right, so yeah, so we, we, we're going to have Wobble, and we're not allowed docking ports. Pull the fly, fly blind or wobble. Um, flying blind, I mean, how am I going to... The, the only way that I think I could fly blind is if, if I turned this way, right, and I got chat up on my phone, and I'm, I'm sat here, like, looking at my phone, and I'll have to rely on you to tell me, like, when to cut my engines and stuff like that. But I like no wobble. Do the pole, do the pole. I, I'm not replacing docking pause with doing blind. I'm keeping that one. I rolled that one fair and square. That, that, that was... <laughs> um, where, how do I do, how do I do pole? How do I do pole? How, how is pole done? Pole? How how does one do pole? Pole is done via here. Wow, chat's going a bit crazy at the moment when I did that. Um, just know that like a challenge in order to be fun has to be achievable. And I'm not sure if flying blind is really going to be achievable. But I'll do it. There we go, that's pole. Start pole. Um, it's, it's hard. Um, funny thing is, uh, the first band I was ever in was called Flying Blind. What was the other option? Fly Blind or Noodle. Noodle. There we go. Let's, uh, let's start this. Oh my god, the light. It's bright. It's so bright. It's it's so bright. It burns. I need the glasses on. Well, we've had 20 23 votes at the moment. 24, 25. It does look like the majority are saying to go for Noodle. So I, I'm fairly sure that's what we will be doing. We'll, we'll be flying a limp, wet rocket. Something that looks like it's one blue pill short of a party. Um, and uh, attempting to... What am, I, what am I even going for? Landing on the moon, right? I think. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're attempting to go to land on the moon, right? That that is the that is the goal. That is the aim. Noodle it is. I think that's yeah. I think that's enough votes for now. I, I I'm going to end the poll there. It's about a third of the people that are concurrently watching, which is why I do want to leave it on for a little bit longer. But it looks like it is going the way of the noodle, the way of the noodle. All right, we're gonna come back to this now. Thank you. I heard a ding, but I can't see what it is. Put snad voice reveal as a challenge. Large joke. Are you not still in, like, abroad? Or are you back home now? I was gonna, I was gonna say, um... I was gonna say where you went. I know where you went, but I, I don't know if you wanted people to know. I know you went to an opera. I, I can say that. That doesn't say where you, you've gone. Oh, you're home. You are home. Okay, right. So um, we're gonna we're gonna do noodle, and we're going to do. I can't remember what the other one was. No docking pause. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be a wet, wet limp, noodly, wacky waving, flailing, inflatable, flailing arm, inflatable, flailing arm, inflatable, flailing arm, inflatable, flailing arm. Inflatable flailing arm tube man. Um, I can't wait to watch this nip noodle fly. 
<laughs> do, do, do I try and make it as ridiculous as possible as well? Like, do, do I make it, do I try and make it that it, it's going to be like... <laughs> Honestly, Limp Noodle would be funny too. Yes, good games, good games, yeah. I, I, I think we do try and make it as limp as, and, as, limp and wet as possible. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Moon of Range Rocketry. Nice. Well, we're, we're, we're way past that. Um, so, I think I kind of want, I kind of want basic construction. Because I want bigger decouplers to make things look better. And I also want... I'm still not returning anything. Oh, and it doesn't matter because, you know, I've, I, don't, I don't need that. We get early jet planes there. Ooh. I'm going to go for this because then I can make much bigger rockets. Like, with this tech, I could now, theoretically, land on Tylo. That's all you need for a Tylo landing is that and... The small decouplers. Wait, do I do I have a? I do. I do have a small decoupler. Good. I needed that. Um, I've got forty nine left, which means I can't get basic pros, but I could get better. Uh, more fuel tanks, larger radial tanks. I might go for these. Small radial engines. That would be pretty nice to get. I'll go for that, more fuel tanks, and we'll also get, do I want intermediate construction? Not really, I think. Better electronics, I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, there we go. Now let's go back to the VAB and build this thing. Honestly, save up for more science making stuff, honestly. Um, the thing is, the next lot of science unlocking stuff is actually in tier 2. I've already unlocked all of the science that I can use in tier 1. So uh, I'm, I'm going to be a long way off getting any more new science stuff. So I guess all I need to do is fly this again. But... <laughs> but... Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this stage. But I need to fly it without, um, I need to fly it. With auto strut turned off. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be very fun. Can I get this lower down? No, that's, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, right. Okay. This this also wasn't my last saved iteration of this. Let's try and try and get this up to uh, orbit. All right, get rid of that. Go for this. Um, luckily, I did also just pick up struts, and that is definitely something that I am going to want to use because. Uh, <laughs> These things are going to start wobbling. So we'll go for some struts to hold this all together. If I hold them at the top, at the bottom there like that, and then if I also hold them at the top here, like so, that should hopefully make this a little bit more stable. I Strong and stable. Um, I'm going to put some here as well. And then I'm also going to put some here as well and that should hopefully hold that stage all together right let's uh, keep building this up with more tanks and we'll put a swivel at the bottom of there get rid of that 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 gives me 1370 meters per second of delta v on the first stage a atmospheric thrust to weight ratio of 1.36 so i can absolutely increase that because uh, I like to go 1.26, that's perfect, that's about where I want to be. Then, I guess, that goes there. Anything else that I need to do? Make a test flight without them. Hey, famous YouTuber, the Space Peacock. I'm excited for the sequel to Carnassa, Boat Nassa. <laughs> 
in normal in normal mode with first node you can get over 1k science so it's probably same here yeah i i might have to give that a go seeing how much well i mean if i if my first node tylo lander worked and i was able to get to tylo and return to kerbin you'd get an awful lot of science like a crazy amount of science uh, probably like in the thousands, but I need to go back to that design and try and get it to work. Sadly, no Mr. V8 because no struts is a challenge on the wheel. Is it? Where do the glasses go? Oh, they're back, they're back. Uh, we finally got big engines. We do finally have a big engine. It, it's, it's a very nice big engine. It's a swivel. It does swivel all over the place. And I think I'm probably going to have... I'm going to overbuild this, because why not? It's it's only science, it's only exploration mode. We might as well use everything I can to my advantage. Do I have? Ah, I do. I can do this. I was like, do I have? Can make like little weird things. Yes, weird weird little things that go on the sides of rockets. That 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 is what we're building. Why is it? Yeah, this is this is going to be overbuilt as anything. All right, we'll put that there. I mean, this is quite long, so there is a good chance that it's going to go wee all over the place, but we shall see. Should I make it a mod? We'll need to add more of that size for my tree, the space peacock. Aren't any fuel tanks in the X more class aside from the Oxca B would probably make this easier on the park count. Um... So I know there is a like a better fuel tanks mod, or like I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, um, but there is there is a mod that adds new uh, fuel tanks, which does add extra small ones. I think I've got it on this save, but I'm not sure if that's been configured to the tech tree yet, and that might only just come up in sandbox mode because I've also got like um, uh, some of the ESA KESA. Uh, solar panels as well, which looks really nice. Really, really, really nice. Right, anyway, uh, let's uh, finish this off just by adding some, some fins, some wing, because everyone loves wing. Oh, yeah, let, let's add some wing on there. Look at look at that. This rocket clearly didn't skip wing day. Um, I'm going to get this there, and then these are just going to boost me off the pad at a whopping 2.2 Plumbing egg, that's that's insane. That's insane thrust to weight ratio. This is overbuilt. This is so incredibly overbuilt, but you know what? I don't care. More boosters, more fun. That's that's what we like to see. All of the boosters. All of the boosters. Right. Let's get that there. And then we get that. Get 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 in. Get in. There we go, we get that there. And then finally, I will connect you to you. And this is one strutty rocket, because I won't have the normal struts. Right, let's move this down. Move this down, and then, oh god, no, too far, too far, too far, too far, too far. Um, what I want to do is probably come in and paint this. I'm going to go for, let's go for part, let's go for like lovely orange colour, because I love orange, it's my favourite colour, that's why my channel is like all orangey, and we'll go for, for Delta Boosters, if you weren't here for the last live stream, I really love the Delta colouring, and not just because it's the channel, it's my channel colours, I just think it looks really nice on a rocket, then in the middle we'll get I think, because I've already flown this stage in this colour configuration before, I'll leave that as that. Um, in the middle, actually, I had the boosters as metal, so we'll get those metal as well again. This is going to take a while. There we go. Um, there we go, we've got a big metal tube there. And I think in the middle here, we'll go for... We'll go for, like, black and white. Or does that look dumb? It looks a little bit dumb to me. I don't I don't like it. Um maybe I'll go for metal in the middle as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we've got like an atlas in the middle, surrounded by delta boosters, surrounded by weird metal tanks and a red... Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with this, and this is just going to be the... There we go. <laughs> When it launches on pad, say turn the wobble on. I'm going to do that before I launch. I do not make me forget. More strutsity, monstrosity. <laughs> uh, that, that's better than me just smashing my keyboard in frustration. Mon, ma, ma, ma. Oh, I'm sound like I'm saying mum there. Monstrosity. There we go. The monstrosity is ready to be launched. This, this is overbuilt. Like, th this is definitely overbuilt. All I need to do is land on the moon. And uh, this will this will make it for death for death right so we're gonna do that and let's launch let's hopefully get this landed on the moon remember chat go join the discord if we get 20 million members in two seconds I'll do a voice review. <laughs> only 20 million in two seconds I think we're on about um, nearly 2200 members on there now which is really nice nice name well you have Jimmy Maguchi to thank for the name. That was that was a great suggestion. I, I, this is why I love live streaming, building and flying things, because you get some really inventive people in chat. Much more inventive than me, anyway, coming up with great names and suggestions for rockets and, and ideas. Anyway, right. So how do I turn this off? I've not actually turned this off since I got the game. Accessibility, graphics, mods, com lines. F -f 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 fancy fuel tanks. Oh, there we go. Flight plan. Oh, this is cool. Maneuver no controller. I've not seen a lot of these. Um, orbital survey. Cool. Space war vision checking. Yeah, so is it under gameplay? No. Nope. It's under gameplay on the main menu. Um, I can't see it. Oh, I have to, I have to come out. Right. So I want to save the game, right? Yeah, confirm. Then I want to quit to the main menu. Save and exit again, because why not? What am I looking for? I'm looking to turn the auto strut off because I hate myself and the community vote was turn auto strut off and and make you want to to just just give up. Right, anyway, uh settings, gameplay, physics joints, enhanced joint system, off. Right? That's all I want to do. Just turn that off. You want to set it to multi-joint system. So on. Yeah. So if I have this off, is, is that right as well? The multi-joint system is the entirety of the old system. Okay. Right. Okay. So this is this is the old system. Good luck, Kanasa. You'll need it. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> oh, let's give it a go. I'm gonna hate my life in a minute. Be, why do people make me do these things? Honestly, I'm not bothered about this. I flew lots of floppy rockets in my time. I am a champion of the floppy rocket. I champion the cause. I shampoo, champ, tramp, trample the cure. I pure the crample. Something, something. Right. Oh, it doesn't look too wobbly at the moment. I thought, oh, 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 I spoke too soon. <laughs> what happened to the fairing? Um, if I quick save and quick load, that might fix it. Uh, this is why I kept quick save and quick loads on. Because... Uh, do be buggy. Sometimes. Yo! Watch the craft explode. Uh, well, 
yeah, the fair the fairing is the fairing has definitely seen better days. It's uh. Something's gone wrong. Something has gone terribly wrong. Those fairings are not fairing-like. Wonderfully astute observation, Cheese. <laughs> the floor is made out of... Floor. <laughs> no, there, uh... Something has gone terribly wrong there. But anyway, um... We're gonna give this a go. Anyway, my is to revert or quick load. I know, I know a, a revert usually does fix this, but I can't revert because I've, I've got reverts turned off. They are not fit. <laughs> ah, they are not faring well. <laughs> rocket is made out of rocket. The rocket is made out of jello. I mean, it will be. Let's go! Whoa! This thing moves like Prince Andrew at a school opening. Right, okay. Um, yeah, that, that looks quick. Okay. Very, very fast. This is going to escalate quickly. Not just escalate quickly. Go up, up, up. Fast, up, 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 fast, go fast, up, fast, up, go, go quick, up, never stop, go back down. No, that's not what's supposed to happen. Oh, God, right, okay, we've got, we've got quite a bit of, oh, 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 it wobbles, you can't see, but it is wobbling. What are the struts, do? oh my God, what has happened to the struts? Those struts were supposed to be there for me. They were supposed to help me in my time of need. Not abandon the way of the strut and... Oh god, what on earth is going on with this entire design? I... Yeah, it's definitely wobbling. It is 100% wobbling. I don't like it! Oh my god, no, not Prince Andrew joke. <laughs> Turn it... Hello, Vales. Fairing-tastic. Like this. Right, let's, let's fire this up a little bit. Um, also, did I add wings? Oh, I did add wings on that stage. Wonderful. I, I thought that I didn't, and that as soon as I decoupled these boosters, I was going to run out of aerodynamic stability. Oh, look at that, the auto stage. <gasps> Isn't it wonderful? But yeah, these struts have really abandoned me. Even the shroud on that is all split into like a million different parts. Right, I probably want to up the throttle now. Oh god, it, it wobble, it do, it do wobble, it do wobble, it wobbly, stop it! Oh, I've got science to gain. Apparently, I might not. Is that K2D2's auto stage? It is! It is, that is a, another mod that I've added. And it works like a charm. That works really well. I am, I am quite happy with the mods that I have uh, installed and downloaded. <laughs> You guys are doing a great job at making them. Uh, yeah, I've, I've spoken about it a couple times on this um, stream already, but there is a, probably a good chance that maybe next Friday... It's Friday! Um, we are going to... Uh, well, I say we. I'm going to probably do a mod video. Either that or a, a tier list video, because i got ideas for a tier list video that I want to do as well. Basically, I want to do something that's um, that people want to watch. And there's a yeah, mod list kind of like oh god, oh god, oh god, throttle down, throttle down, go up, go up, go up, 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 up. Um, yeah, and uh, there's now quite a few mods. Like I even checked this morning before starting the stream. There's more mods on there this morning than there was last time I checked it after I did the poll. And uh, all of the mods have been updated, so there's there's quite a lot of good mods that I can like probably cover in quite good detail now. So that's uh, definitely something that I want to be doing. Right, let's um, let's try and get this this wobbly boy into orbit. It's it's no longer wobbling too too terribly. It's uh it's not quite as bad as I was anticipating. But I guess what I can do is. 
kill the throttle because we're 130 kilometers up anyway. Bring this to there and then ditch the payload fairings. I said ditch. Bye bye payload fairing. By the way, the telemetry report experiment gains exactly 75% of the science of the crew observation and has four fifths the, oh, four or five times the transmission size. I know I keep running out of battery. I keep running out of battery. Like, like battery has been something that has been really, really, really problematic over the course of this live stream. Uh, I'm running out of power. Very, very rapido. Right, let's go to the beach, beach, something, something, something. Du, 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 du. Is that like Nicki Minaj? I don't know, I'm gonna get this video <laughs> thing demonetized now. <laughs> I made the battery a bit more difficult. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go, thank you for Epic Stream. Thank you, Mr. V8, for coming along. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, night, evening, morning, winter, summer, wherever you are. And uh, I will be just causing myself more pain. More, lots more pain. No, thank you for coming along. Might do a modded campaign at some point, going full stock first though. Gotta look for bugs. I'm a bug hunter now, after all. That's fair, that's fair. Weren't you also, um, like, the first person to discover discoverables? I remember there being an announcement on the Intercept Discord, and I'm fairly sure it was you that found the ones, I want to say on Gilly? I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I, I vaguely recall that happening. I want Micro Engineer up because I want to be able to see my exact orbit. Um, time to wrap up. Yeah, I'm going down. Well, we're like in orbit. It's a bad orbit. And actually, that being said, let's get this up a little bit. If I point up to like there, then when I get to my... My peri apps, I'm going to burn retro and I'm going to complete that circular orbit contract. Would it be nicer if I'd have done it, you know, like at launch, but clearly I am a scrub at this game and it is a skill issue and I am very, very terrible. I can't fly rockets to save my life. I think it's a better idea to release the episode, um, release the episode in Saturday because we're all going to be watching For All Mankind on Friday. Um, I guess, yeah. I'm not sure how many people watch For All Mankind compared to watch my content, though. I assume a reasonable, reasonable amount of overlap, considering, you know, I do um, For All Kerbal Kind. But I'm very excited to see what happens in the next episode. There's only two more episodes left as well. Um, the last... The last couple of episodes have just been completely bonkers. Like... I don't know how much more ridiculous the show can get. But, um... Try not to spoil anything. There's a point where they say there's something really small and, like, everyone's too big. And I was like, oh, no, I know exactly where this is going. No, no, they're not. And, and they did! And I was like, no! Why? How could you do this? <laughs> yeah, there's only two more episodes of um, For All Mankind coming out. Um... Not, not for all Kerbal kind. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a great season, though. I've, I've really enjoyed it's, it's been completely off the walls insane what's been going on, but I've really enjoyed it. Uh, I've really, really, really have enjoyed season four. I think it's been a lot better than uh, season three. I won't say it's aliens, but aliens. <laughs> Devin. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it, it has been great though. See, I, I've 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 been thoroughly enjoying season four. Really, really, really good. And um, yeah, no, I'm really excited to see where the show goes. Why am I not? Oh, it's because I'm time warping. I'm like, why am I not turning around? All right, one minute until Perry ups. Uh, let's just turn it around now. <laughs> you look like a bear. <laughs> that bit was, um, yeah, I, I don't want to say too much because, you know, spoilers, but that, that bit was generally, like, heartfelt, that bit. I was like, oh, oh. Um, 
the, the shot of uh, looking at the picture frame, that was um, nice. There we go. Perfectly circular orbit. That means I gain more science. Now I need to go to the moon. Okay, and I have no orbit marker. Wonderful. <laughs> Maybe a quick save and a quick load will fix this. If not, you're gonna have to restart the game. This is a bug that is also apparently very high on the priority list to fix. Uh, but yeah, no, it's gonna have to be a game restart. Am I am I landed state landed? Uh, because if that is the case, if I go to micro engineer, how do I see what my my state is? I suppose if I go on this, low curve in orbit. Okay, so I am I am not landed. It's not the landed bug, it's just the orbital lines have disappeared bug. So that should mean what I all I need to do is I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna quit the game. And then we're gonna uh, come back and hopefully it should be fixed. But I've been playing for like nearly three hours now and uh, that's the first time I've had to actually quit the game. So, not terrible. Oh, I'll just edit the save file. Ah, the game doesn't take too long to load up. Always click to open up Baldur's Gate 3. Then, oh, anyway, so we're gonna turn this stream into a bit of Baldur's Gate. If anyone's played that game, it's very, very, very good, very good. Um, I'm still not past Act 1, though. Yeah, KSP2 is still Alpha. It is. I, I mean, even by the definition of Alpha, it's still Alpha, because, like, Alpha means not feature complete, right? I'm fairly sure that Beta, when something goes into Beta, that means it is pretty much feature complete. It is just ironing out the last of the bugs. At least that's what my understanding of Alpha and Beta is. And obviously, there's still colonies to add, there's still interstellar, there's still multiplayer, there's, there's, there's a lot of features that they've still yet to add into um, KSP2. <laughs> I tried Baldur's Gate. It's such an old game, not very fun. Uh, maybe you should try Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, that's the new one. I... I think I've played the originals. Um, I had a set of D&D &D games when I was young, when I was like really young. And it had Icewind Dale, Icewind Dale 2, I think, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 in there. Um, it had Neverwinter Nights, and mm, I think it didn't have Neverwinter Nights 2 because that came out after it. And there was another, oh, my, my cat has just entered. Um, hello. <laughs> and there was um, another couple of games. I can't remember what they were though, but uh, they, they were quite fun. But then, yeah, they, they all came out when I was like a kid, so it wasn't really different. Oh no. Jeez, have you updated the mods in the time that I've been streaming? Because there's an update. <laughs> Now it's giving me an error. I'll have to go back and I'll have to re re up re download that. I'm not going to do that now though because we're gonna we're gonna carry on with this, right? So let's uh, let's try this out. Uh, cat has entered the chat. I'm sorry. What? What? No, but I played Five Nights at Friends Nightclub. Friends Nightclub. Does that count? Five Nights? Like Five Nights at Freddy's? I need to play the module for Five E Descent into Avernus. I've um. Despite the Gotten Realms being like my favourite campaign setting ever since 3.5 edition, I've got like 4e books on it, I've got 5e books on it, um, and 3.5 books on Forgotten Realms. I, I never actually played any of the published adventures from there. But it is kind of like nice, like, oh god, it is nice um, seeing in like Baldur's Gate, like names that I know. Uh, Volo is, uh, is an interesting character. But there's the whole book for him as well. It's like Volo's Guide of Monsters or something, I think. I don't actually have that 5e book. I've got a few 5e books, but not that one. Right, what am I doing? I'm landing on the moon, aren't I? Ah, I am the moon. 
Right, so I probably want to go about there. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for about there. All right, let's point to our manoeuvre. It's nice that we get our orbit lines back. My dog says hi, can I say? Hello, Pineapple Coin Gaming's dog. Your dog can speak. Right, anyway. Wow, we're pointing to the north control on my way over to the moon. Have the struts fixed themselves yet? Oh, they have. They're no longer being all weird, which is wonderful. Right, so 28 seconds until we fire up this candle and hopefully go to the moon. Uh, does the unique part... Yes, yes. Yes, Bookie Goldberg. That's exactly what it means. Luckily, I haven't had that come up yet. Oh, look at that wobble. Did you see that? I don't know if you did because it was dark. But as soon as I fired up the engines, those smashed into each other and it did not look good. <laughs> um, oh god, I don't like, I don't like having wobble back. Um, why am I going back to using the stock maneuver editor? Because I forgot that I had better options now. Uh, is the only reason why. In, in all honesty. Right, so we're on our way to the moon. Oh, 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 uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, Turn all of that off. And I also want to turn off if I come into... Utility? Yeah, there we go. Turn that off too. Now, we go back to moon. We go to moon, and we do all the flying stuff because it is hard and not easy. I know this could be a tad spoilery, but for some reason on the Sea Dragon Luna scene, Sea Dragon f has four extra nozzle on the main tank, not talking about the Verniers. Does it? I've rewatched the entire show. Um, like, I, I finished rewatching it, uh, like, last week, um, because my girlfriend hadn't seen it, so we were watching it together. And, um, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. That shot is so cool, though. That scene is, like, the coolest scene in the entire show. <laughs> it's, it's just epic. Like, beyond epic. Um, but yeah, no, she's all caught up now, and we are on... Yeah, there's only episode 9 and 10 of season 4 to go, which uh, I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to. Right, I need to turn control back on. Uh, control enabled, talk enabled, and I'm also going to turn talk on for this reaction wheel. And we will move super quick, so fast, faster than a speeding bullet, faster than... Oh, good God. Did you see the wobble? Why is it always dark, but it is wobbling like... Things. Things wobble. Have I... No, I've got eight minutes until my um, Perry apps around the moon. Or Perry loon. Or Perry moon? I guess. Wait, no. I've, I've got... Why is it saying that my... I really hate this sometimes. I, I, I knew that I'd flown past it. Look, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but look at that wobble. <laughs> oh yeah, thrusting motion. <laughs> Time to get demonetized. Let's do it. Let's do it from this way. Look at look at that thrust. Oh yeah. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, the couplers do not want to hang on to the engines. No, no, they do not. No, they do not. You're gonna death. I'm gonna death. Again, just to make sure that the main engine actually has our to ignite to make sure it gets out of the water. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Our lynch motors. Because I know on stage two it's got the four verniers for roll control. 
Um, but uh, apparently they were talking about a different engine as well. So I don't know what that is. What about that Lunar Lander stream on Kerbal Gets Real Redux? Uh, so that's tomorrow. That's going to be tomorrow at 2pm. Um, reason why it's that early is because I'm going to my mum's to see my sisters and uh, basically having a New Year's Eve party. So I can't do it much later than that. Otherwise, I'm going to be late to the New Year's Eve party because it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be doing that tomorrow because there is no Kerbal Gets Real Redux episode coming out tomorrow because I have spent the last week just doing nothing. Chilling out. <laughs> I've not been editing. I've not done any editing because it was Christmas and my birthday and I just wanted to have a break. But I thought rather than like have absolutely nothing come out this weekend, I'd do a couple of streams instead. And then that way I've got at least a little bit of content out. One thing I really, 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 really wanted to do, which I don't think I am quite going to get to. Oh, God. Oh, God the wobble. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, one thing, uh, one thing that I did want to achieve this weekend that I don't think I'm going to be able to, um, was hit 30k subs. I know I hit 29.9 thousand, um, at the beginning of this stream. But I needed, I think I needed 60 subs today and tomorrow. And uh, when I went, I checked when I went out of my break and I think I've only gained about 30 today. So not sure if that will be possible, but it would have been nice to hit 30k by the end of the year. Maybe I, uh, maybe I'll hit it early January though. Can I say, have you been, have you been dipping into the bottle a little? I hear the distinctive sound of ice against a crystal glass. No, I, I, I swear it's monster. It's not the whiskey or a bourbon, bourbon, bourbon biscuits. I love bourbon biscuits. They're really tasty. They're like chocolate with chocolate cream. They're great. Who likes bourbon biscuits? Because I do. Would an American call them bourbon cookies? <laughs> I don't think they would. But, but a biscuit's like a scone in, in, in America land. Do I like Biscoff? Um, I don't think I've ever had Biscoff. I don't, I don't, I don't think I've had Biscoff. Right, anyway, where do we, where do we want to land? Um, we could land on the arch, which, I mean, is about there, if I recall correctly. Um, as I got pointed out last time, or we could land, I really want to land in that crater. Like, I really, really want to land in that crater. Because, reasons. And it gives me another mission to go to the moon, which I think would be quite fun. So, I think what I'm going to do, I've got, I've got a stupid amount of Delta V. I could go back to Kerbin. I've got three and a half thousand meters per second of Delta V left. So, actually, what I could do is I could land on the moon, right, I could land in that crater, and then I could take off and land on the moon at Arch as well. I, I, I reckon that's that's possible. I reckon it is possible. How much Delta V is that going to be? 147, five, maybe... Come this way. Yeah, something like that. 202 meters per second of Delta V. I reckon that'll be fine. Yeah, because I, I just want to check it out. It looks cool. Looks interesting. I like the look of it. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, so we're going to do that. Probably fly about there. Let's burn this node. I think I'm going to turn the uh, second reaction wheel off because I think it is making me flip, flop, and fly all over the place like a uh, like a piece of Tesco's finest spaghetti. Oh, I do love some Tesco spaghetti. Mm, spaghetti. Right, anyway. Um. <clears throat> yes. Mm. Indeed. Interregally. I would say savory. Wait. Uh, reviving Matt's old whiskey review. I, does he still do those? I, th I thought he still did them. Um, although, I'm not aware of one for a while. I wonder if Matt will come to the stream. He's at the last one. <laughs> <clears throat> Have you had Devonshire cream? I don't think I have had Devonshire cream. The only thing that I have from Devon is mead. 
Uh, my friend has a house in Devon, and uh, we used to go and visit him during like the summer holidays. And he lived lived near a place called Lime Bay Winery, and they they make mead. And oh my god, right? I, I'm not much of a alcohol drinker. I used to drink when I was younger. I don't really anymore. But mead is the nicest tasting thing ever. It's literally, it's it's like honey. Oh god! Uh, I screwed that up because we were trying to overcorrect because of the wobble. Um, but yeah, mead mead is lovely. Look at that wobble. Mmm. Nice. I love a bit of wobble. Wobble all up in my place, all over my peripherals. Okay, so. Where, oh god, that's not where I wanted to land. No, we're gonna have to turn this way. Meat is awesome, meat is awesome. 30k uh, Minecraft stream with the boys. <laughs> 30k Rim Rimworld stream when. Um, to be honest, I I'm not sure if anyone really wants to watch Rimworld. If, if I were to do something, why is my rocket like just not being able to be controlled. Um, if I did something that wasn't KSP, I think the thing that I would do is um, Zomboid, because I've wanted to play Zomboid on my channel for so long. It is one of my all-time favourite games. I talked about it in my... Um... Oh, God, no! Sexual noises! Ah, what is going on here? Oh, God! Stop! Stop! The reaction wheels don't like it. They hate it. It's not good. Right. Right, we're going to burn to about there. And when I get a bit closer, like here, I'm going to burn. Going to make a manoeuvre. We're going to go like this. Yeah. A little bit of a dog leg manoeuvre. Like, like so. Uh, uh, yeah. Something like that. That'd be fine. 30k Baratorama was on both streams. I just got Baratorama and I'm a newbie, so that'd be funny to watch. I I, I got Baratorama like a, a maybe about a year ago. I am still a newbie. I've been I've been playing it a little bit, well, not for about a month now, I think it was the last time I played it. On um with N9. And uh, me and N9 are complete noobs and Mark is not, and Mark has just been carrying us. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's it. December 13th, 2023. I'm not going to repeat that word. I, I think once was already enough. Right. Uh, maybe I turn off this reaction wheel. I've only got 69 units of electric charge left. Um, I'm going to turn off control and hopefully gain a little bit of electric charge whilst I wait the 10 minutes to get to this burn. I don't have a lot, though. Where's that valley? There's the valley. Right, I want to burn now. I want to... Oh, oh, God. Yeah, I want to burn now. Burn, burn. Go, 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 go. Probably a good thing that I did turn off that reaction wheel. Um, control. Oh! 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 No! The wobble! Look at it! How did people play KSP2 like this? Honestly. Boom! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. We're on course for collision with the moon. Um, now what I want to do is uh, is turn this way. Oh god, 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 I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, make it stop! <sighs> they didn't play it, they endured it, I can't ask it exactly. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god! Well, if I turn off SAS, that doesn't even fix it. Oh, it stopped! It stopped! <laughs> Science alarm! Uh, I think I've got all of the. Oh, I didn't want to do that because that's just going to eat through my. Oh wait, no, I haven't got low orbit around the moon. I do not have low orbit around the moon. Okay, so yeah, this is actually good. Right, we are... I'm going to fire that up. Let's, let's land this sucker. And go for about there. 
I'll aim for that crater-ish there. And then when I get a little bit closer to the ground, there we go. Ooh, 21 science. 18 units of electric charge. I have that. Let's transmit that and get more science. Wonderful. Science is always nice. Oh, God, and the camera has now messed up. Let's bring this down. What is the challenge right now? The challenge right now is I have turned off Autostruck. So we're back to old early KSP2 wobbly rocket physics, um, which has made turning this, and hopefully it'll do it now, if I go retrograde, it, yeah, 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 like, like this happens. <laughs> I'm sick, I can't laugh, but you just can't not laugh at that. Look, look at it. Oh, it stopped. It stopped as I started dancing. Not fair. No. Right. This is the crater that I wanted to land in. So let's slow this down. Oh, oh yeah, auto stage. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot I had that. Oh no. Uh, yeah, so that, that's the challenge at the moment. Um, aside from that, it's also uh, no docking ports, because I, I had to roll two challenges. Although I don't even have docking ports unlocked yet, so it was kind of a <laughs> kind of a, a free pass. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I should have rolled that again. You know, if something like that comes up again, I will roll again. Just to make it a bit fair. Unless it's the no limit. No limit just means I've got no challenge whatsoever. Um... So I'll keep that one, but yeah, if, if if I get, say, like, something like you're not allowed to use RCS or docking ports when I've not even got RCS or docking ports unlocked, it's just a bit like, well, what's the point? What's the point? There isn't a point. You're a point, Harry. <laughs> I'm a what? What about, um, what about boat launch? Um, I've not had a boat launch yet. That is definitely something that I will probably end up doing at some point because it is one of the, the challenges. This mission is taking so long. It's because I've been chatting through it. Chatting and reading chat. If I was playing this on my own time, I would uh, I would be getting it done a lot, lot, lot quicker. But that's the thing. Live streams tend, at least, at least live streams when I do them, tend to take a little while longer than just a normal save because... I'm chatting, I'm reading chat, and yeah, there's lots of lots of other things to focus on. Right, anyway, we are almost down on the surface of the moon. We've got 830 meters per second delta V left in this stage, which is great. We'll probably be able to land on the moon arch again, which would be nice. I'm back. Are we still on the noodle rocket? We are still on the noodle rocket. We are just about to touch down on the surface of the moon with no landing legs. And that's how you land on the moon. With no landing legs. Right. So I think what I want to do is get rid of control. Oh, no, I need control in order to run the experiment, don't I? 30 seconds. Hmm. Well, we'll run that experiment. And then I will disable control whilst I wait and get a bit of electric charge. Hopefully this should give me enough science to maybe unlock something cool later on. Okay, cool. There we go. That gave me nine whole science. It's not a lot of science. It's not a lot of science at all. But we'll send that off. Right, so I think I want to disable control. And how much delta V do I have left in this? Does this tell me my total delta V? Yes, 2,396. That's enough to fly to the arch. Considering the arch is... Like, there. Right? I tried landing there before, but it, it wasn't there. Or maybe it was. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the Space Center, pick up my mission rewards. Um, and then we're going to go to the arch. We're going to try and land on it again. Better than zero science, indeed. Only use SRB engines. That might come up. That is one of the ones that is on the list of things to do. If we take a look at my Steam page. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is no SRBs on here. It is uh, definitely something that might happen. Uh, 
but it's not happened yet. But that will be fun when it does. Right, anyway, back to the game. We're going to pick up some science rewards. This is this has been so much more difficult than the stream I did last time, which is fun. One small step. We didn't even get someone out. We did not. No steps were taken. We did it, but we didn't step on the moon. Carry you. Anyway, the perfect circle. We completed that as well. Right. It's a bit. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Good. Go. Gotcha. Continue. Over and out. Wonderful. Thanks. Science. <laughs> what on earth is that that noise? 50% thrust limiter on all engines would be a tricky one to deal with. That's one I'm going to add. I like that. I like that. Um yeah, let's 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 add that real quick. Um 50% thrust limit. There we go. I like that one a lot. Thanks, Wookie. Direct Ascent Mission. I mean, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, normal moon missions in KSB-1 are Direct Ascent. You don't really need to do, like, Apollo style and rendezvous and docking because the moon's so small. It's very easy to build something completely overbuilt to land on it. But Lonely Satellite, this is something new. Well, I mean... <laughs> I've already done that. So um, I just need to go to that satellite to pick it up. Right, okay, so we've done that. I'm not gonna go to R&D yet because I'm gonna finish this mission, but we're gonna go to the tracking station. I'm sure there was something else I wanted to do whilst I was here. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna time warp for a little bit because I want the arch to be in, um, oh, it'll tell me where the arch is now. Of course it will, because I've got the moon as signal. I want the arch to be in the daylight, so I can actually see where I'm flying. It'll make it a lot easier. Well, preferably, both the arch and the spacecraft will be in the daylight. There we go. Cool. Right. So we're going to fly up into the moon at night. Let's see if we can aim for the arch. Right, okay, so where's my 90? My 90's there. Let's go. Interesting. I have... Oh, it's because I've got no control. Um, ah, because... There we go. I was like, why, why, why won't you move? Why won't you move? And there was a very good reason why, but let's go this way. I think if we go straight 90, we're not going to quite reach it. Do I have an orbit line? I do have an orbit line. If I go straight 90, I'm going to end about here. So I want to kind of face more north. So I guess if I go like this way, hopefully that'll get me there. Go flat. Yeah, yeah. Flatter is better. Obviously, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, so, you know, the flatter we're going, probably the better. We won't spend as much delta V. I've got more <laughs> than enough delta V. Um, but, you know, any, any savings would really help. Zero brightness. F2 for the rest of the mission. That might be a fun one to do. I, yeah, flying without any HUD. That's going to be really difficult. But it's certainly one that might be a fun challenge. Like, if you bring up the map... Oh, it brings the HUD back. Right, I've gone too far north. Uh, yeah, I went... Oh, oh, I made an oopsie. I made an oopsie. I went too far north. We want to go more this way. Ah, uh, screw it, let's just fully send it. Let's go, like, this way. Come on! No, no. Ah, damn it. 
I, I screwed up. Alright, well, I can just burn this way a little bit. I'm going like 520 meters per second, which I've got way more than that in this final stage, so I, I am going to be fine. So bring that a little bit closer. Bring it to about there. There we go. Now I just need to try and land this on the arch. What about re-roll? But the number is replaced by a dice roll. Like you have to re-roll and let's say you get 10 kerbals. You have to roll a d20 and could get a max of one kerbal or 20. That, that would be... I know you recommended that on um, Discord. Um, <coughs> that's definitely something that, yeah, I would like to do. It means to get my dice out though. <clears throat> All of my D&D dice are in um, my lounge at the moment, which is over there. So maybe for next time. There won't be a stream next weekend though. Um, I mentioned it earlier on. Uh, I'm, I'm streaming twice this weekend. I'm not going to be streaming next weekend at all due to the fact that I am going away. I'm going away on holiday for a couple of days. And the week after that, there will be a stream. And then the week after that, there probably won't be a stream because I am being taken to see the Book of Mormon um, in London. So that'll be, that'll be great as a birthday present. I've never seen it, so I'm quite excited to see that. Because I have heard, I've heard very good things about it. I've heard it is very funny. Right, uh, where is, where is Arch? Where is Arch? Shall we, shall we land on, on top of the Arch again? I feel like, I feel like I landed on top of it last time. I need to do it again, right? It has to be done. It, it just has to be done. There's, there's no, there's no two ways about it. All right, we are now at the point where we're moving slowly. That was a weird thing to join the stream too. <laughs> it's such a great play. Yeah, I've, I've never seen it. I was I was meant to see it in um, New York when I went a couple of years ago, uh, but my entire family got sick when we went, so we never actually got round to uh, seeing it, which is a shame. So I know it's uh, the same uh, creators as South Park, isn't it? And yeah, I, I think I'll really enjoy it. I've, I've been told I've been told very good things about it, and I'm. Very much looking forward to seeing that. But yeah, so there probably won't be a stream on like the 20th. Or next weekend. Right, we are coming... I want to I wanna move this way. Because right now I am flying right past it. Also, 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 not just this way. I want to prograde it up a little bit. About there. And I guess what I could do is burn, like, radial. Like, here. And that will slow me down. But also, if I, if I burn roughly halfway between the two, it will slow me... Oops, there we go. Slow me down. Right, no, I've, I've burned that too far. I mean, I've got more than enough delta V. Right, let's uh, slow this down. Where are we landing at the moment? Way over. We're way over shooting. Which way do I want to burn? This way a little bit. Oh, it all gets deathly quiet. Concentration face is coming out. I mean, I, I landed on this thing in the last live stream, but, you know, I want to I do it again. Right, probably want to, like, aim, like, this way. And we'll, we'll get on top of that arch. If it kills me! Fish! I know we're three hours into the stream, but how are you anyways? Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit sick at the moment, actually. I've spoken about it a couple of times on the stream, but um, unfortunately, over the Christmas period, I got ill, um, which meant that I was ill on Christmas Day, and I was ill on my birthday, and I had all of these great plans to like play some board games and, and have some fun and do lots of things, and then I couldn't, because basically, 
the entire time on my birthday, I, I was in bed. I, I literally spent the entire day in bed trying to recover. I was like, oh, I've got a week off. I don't have to do any of my YouTube stuff. I've told people I'm going on a break for this week, and then and then I get sick, <laughs> which, which kind of sucks. But, oh well. Um, hopefully I get a little bit better soon. All right, let's uh, try and slow this down and land on top of the arch. Do no SAS. No SAS, I think, is one of the options that I have on there. Um, it's definitely, definitely something I could try. Right, I want to... Oh god. Well, I messed that up. This thing is quite difficult to control. Damn it! No! Oh! I slipped and I hit Z. No! <laughs> right. Well, that was a huge waste of fuel. <laughs> oh! Annoying. This is harder to land than... I suppose I could enable talk on this as well. Yeah, this is this is harder to land than um, what I landed on the moon last time. Right, so I want to be kind of like going this way. Might turn the thrust limiter down to like 43%. Yeah, that, that, that was just a random percentage, but why is this really sluggish to move around? It was really quick. And now suddenly... It's really struggling. I, I don't get it. Like, why? Why do you not like moving? Right. Come on, just let me land this probe on here, please. I want to be more like this way. Oh god, which way? Oh, this is so painful! Why have I got no control? This was literally turning around so fast before that I couldn't con stop it from... This is annoying. Really annoying. Because this is hard to move anywhere. God damn it. Right. It's like it won't turn at all. Why is this? This is really annoying me. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Right. Furious keyboard noises. It's a bug. I mean, it's basically a bug that I'm trying to... Uh... Why am I still... Oh, because I had throttle up. 
It's like, why am I still going up? Oh, because I had slot one, of course. Oh, please just let me land on top of this damn arch. That's not where I wanted to land. I wanted to land right at the top, but you know, I'm happy. That was really annoying. I don't know my why react. I don't know why my reaction wheels just suddenly decided no, we're not going to work anymore. <laughs> I had electric charge. Look, like you can see, there's electric charge in the top. Well, it's hidden behind the sponsor thing, but um, I had electric charge, so that shouldn't have mattered. Let it fall. I think you land at least five. At least not. <laughs> I wanted to land on the on it though. Tip: use mouse to control to control gas. Boop. Anyway, SAS lock. I wonder what the arch will actually hold. What what like in terms of weight? What will it hold? Who knows? Who knows? That that was really really irritating. Let's run a telemetry report. We'll get the moon arch. We'll get some data. In KSP1, we used locked camera for these situations. Is this in KSP2? Um, I think there is still the locked camera. It's called like, um, I don't think it's called locked. It's called like capture now and body. Capture and body. You can body the probe with your camera. Just like, just go like, walk up to it and just like fully slam elbow down down on probe right there we go um we got the moon arch signal which gave us 12 science not a huge amount uh it's gained me 24 science points apparently although i don't think it has i do not think it has but anyway that's going to be the end of this mission because well we can't really do anything else with it we can leave a probe on the moon for all to see for all future. It's for science! But yes, um, the mod that I'm using that changes the tech tree is, oh, look at that, Blood Moon. Spooky. Um, is, where's my crew capsule? Which, as Cheese has been saying, she has developed. And it's, it's great. It's, it's, it's not making me want to hate myself at all, especially with the whole added challenge of spinning that goddamn wheel no no I, I I I do I do enjoy my time doing these what was the challenge I was doing the challenge that I was just doing was uh, turn on noodly rockets so we got rid of the wobble fix that for science added and breathe. <laughs> KSP2, but if you fail your mission, you die in real life. That's basically how I feel <laughs> this stream is going to end up. Right, so if we go into mission control, we completed this, which is wonderful. Director, you're back. Something, something about coffee. Coffee, coffee, this, coffee, that, coffee, that. Thanks, science. Wonderful. Bad signal. Orbit a probe with communications antenna above Minmus. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Minmus. Launch a vessel with at least four wheels. So before we go to Minmus... It's time. Here's the wheel of pain, the wheel of misfortune, the wheel of shame, the wheel of, oh my god, what am I doing? The wheel of death. One of those options is what this is. You may decide, you, you, you decide what you'd rather it be called, but... See what it is. Make your predictions be known right now! See what you think. Will you be right? Will you be wrong? Will you be hippopotamus? We shall see.
<laughs> the wheel of horrendous challenge. Okay. Going to Minmus with no manoeuvre nodes is going to be hard. It will be possible. It, it won't be as difficult as interplanetary. But it, it's, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. Is that a funny challenge? Good luck. Just wing it. I don't even use maneuver nodes. Call it Sandbox Gal's Wheel of Traumatic Terror. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, it's going to be something. It's going to be something. Let's go into R&D and see what I can unlock to make that a little bit easier for myself. So, better probes, 100%. Absolutely. Can this um, act as a... Oh, we can! We can get Orbital Survey with that. Oh, I really want that, but that's going to cost all of my science, because Orbital Survey is a really cool mod that I definitely need to go into when I get to it. Just use Maneuver Plans, not Maneuver Nodes. I, f I feel like any sort of Maneuver Planning node is kind of going against the, like, the challenge, so... Um... Orbital maneuvering would be great because I unlock the Terrier, which I love. Terrier, Terrier be blessed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rush for that. When do we unlock crew capsules? Is it tier two? Yeah, it is. Tier two, we unlock a crew. Um, moon arranged rocketry. That's also a nice one to get, but I don't think I'm gonna go for that quite yet. Um, I think we want to go. That would be cool, right, to get the um, orbital survey up, but what have I got here? That's all just construction parts. That is separatrons and separators. There's some cool stuff in there. I don't really care for trusses at the moment. Um, enhanced survivability might be nice to return some things. Um, this gets me smaller engines, which also might be nice. I think I'm going to go for Enhanced Survivability, which gives me 136 left, which means I can go for... I think I do want to get planes. Because it would be fun to fly some planes. And we'll get some crew reports from that as well. So we'll go for early jet planes, which leaves me on 61. Which means I could get larger radial tanks and small radial engines. Which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to... Oh, miniaturized science would be pretty nice. No, I'm going to go larger... Has anyone said anything in chat? We can't see the parts of the nodes. Yeah, I know, because my face is in the way. I can't really do anything about that. Terror... Uh, auto survey is great. It has some really good potential. I can't get that yet, but I think, yeah, we're going to... Yeah, I'll go radial tanks and, well, clearly I, I miscounted there because I can't get both of those. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, small radial engines as well. Okay, so that's my science gained. We have got a mission to Minmus with no maneuver nodes. If I come into the BAB. But... I think I'm going to call the stream there. I've been streaming for about, what, three and a half hours? Yeah, about three and a half hours now. And I am sick. And I'm doing another live stream tomorrow. So the No Maneuver Nose to Minmus mission will be coming when I next stream. I might do a stream in the week, like at some point, maybe like Wednesday, because I'm not going to be able to stream next weekend. So if you want to catch that, yeah, I might, I might stream at some point in the week. Um... But yeah, there will be a Kerbal Gets Real Redux stream happening tomorrow, which I'm going to be designing my first Lunar Lander for that series. And hopefully it goes well. I'm not sure what will be harder. That stream or this, uh, this stream was definitely harder. That one, I know what I'm doing. This one, anything can happen. It's anyone's game. But thank you everyone for coming to the stream. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the chat and thank you for everything. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been one of the streams of all time. 
last time round was definitely more challenging. The the whole 100% reuse to the moon and back, that that was really hard. But adding in um, Where's My Crew Capsule, that certainly added a whole new layer of complexity, of, of difficultiness and, and struggliness. But yes, if you did like the stream, please hit the like button and, you know, do all of that stuff, like hit subscribe and ring the, the doorbell and knock on wood, all of those things. But yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I've had a good time. And now I'm going to go recover my voice until tomorrow, where I'm going to be doing this all over again. And oh my God, why do I hate myself?